a little weird. That was weird. What's up? Like button. Dog is okay, man. I, I just most generic <laughs> the most generic intro music ever thank you for that much appreciated on the most generic uh, intro music I've ever heard thanks it's very nice thanks intro music people the fuck um, yeah man all day I've been really worried about road dogs so I just gotta get right to that because I've been super worried about road dog all day um, very concerned about Road Dog. Uh, hospitalized, heart attack. We know that. I don't know if there's new information. I've been looking up. Um, you know, he had a blood pressure thing that was going on, and that's a big reason, I think, for the uh, hospitalization. Kidneys came back clear, and heart is scheduled for Monday. They'll determine then what's to be done. Um. Uh, people just really hoping everything's okay Monday. I, I hope that they find out exactly what it is. Hopefully it's something minor enough, you know. Um, likely he suffered a heart attack, you know, was said. And we got info back. We heard that stuff earlier today. This is an old, old story. This happened earlier today. You know, I could have made a video earlier about it, but I didn't, I didn't really want to talk about it until I figured out what was up. But also I was just had a busy day today. So I just, you know. We had the uh, the fam doing lots of stuff today. So uh, Road Dog Ogden says, "Man, I love you, Road Dog. I doubt you'll ever see this, but the bottom line is, I love Road Dog, and it really hurt me to even just the idea that he's in the hospital. I I don't like it, man. I, I you know I got to talk with Road Dog a little bit. I barely know the guy for real, but I mean, you know, we had a really good we had some conversations that were nice, and he was you know always pretty damn nice to me and nice to us and you know, I know that he kind of got overwhelmed with some of the people on Twitter and some of the things that were going down on Twitter with all these people and other people upset about the product and stuff like that. And he ended up leaving Twitter and stuff like that. So you hope that you just, I just hope that he's all right, man. That's, I just really, really like him. I, I really do, man. I, I don't, I hope he gets this figured out and then he's, you know, doesn't deal with something like this again until he's at least the age of his father, you know, was, you know, that type of thing. Guy should be around for another, you know, 20, 30 years, to be honest, you know. But he does have the blood pressure thing, so. You know, maybe they, maybe this is a good thing because maybe they'll find out, you know, sometimes they find out something's going on and they can fix it now as opposed to it could have built up worse and then later been really bad, you know. And this could have been something that actually saves him, the minor thing. You know, I don't know how minor it is, though. I don't know. It could be bad. It could be really bad. I don't know. But anyway, tonight Leah is... um trying Guinness for the first time. Last week she tried whiskey, and I do have that whiskey here. We did tap into the whiskey a little bit here if you look at it. We did get into it a little bit, not not a ton. So tonight on Corrupted Podcast, it's, it won't be, it will be on Corrupted tonight live. Hope you guys are patrons. Come on over for that. Leah will be the special guest for a little bit as she tries Guinness. I can't believe this, my Irish wife, like with her father and her 
family being from Ireland, uh, never tried Guinness. I don't know how that happens. Not the best way to drink it out of this bottle. It's warm. I kept it warm for her, but um, I uh, she wanted it warm. But uh, you know, it's uh, it's an, I I love I like Guinness. There's times when I really really like Guinness, but again. Never with a meal with me. I can't do it with a meal. I just don't like that. It's just not my thing. And then, of course, we have UFC 260 tonight, which is we've already seen a knockout. Crazy stuff. I did see it. And, you know, it's a light card tonight, so you hope that the fights are just really good because, again, this was a card tonight that, you know, you were thinking, well, this ain't this ain't the best card, you know. <laughs> but, you know, a lot of changes, and it's really thin. It's a thin card as far as... You know, especially for casuals who don't know a damn thing about who, who's on this card now. But yeah, all the best to Road Dog. Leah never drank the good black ale. That's true. Maybe she can drink some of yours. Let me go to the Donos. Dunkachino? Don't mind if I do. Oh. What's my name? Dunkachino. It's a whole new game. Dunkachino. You want creamy goodness? I'm your friend. Say hello to my chocolate blend. Well, JCS Foot Rub, thank you, my friend. How you doing? I just ate some chicken wings, not many, like like five or six chicken wings, which is kind of, you know, not supposed to do that, but I was working outside all day today. I must have burnt calories, and I figured, you know what? Chicken wings. So I'm going chicken wings right now, but but really I only had four or five. I actually had a salad though. I had a big salad, so I'm doing good tonight, man. All right, John. So you're friggin', <laughs> I'm I don't know, bro. I think you're gonna beat me because you said you were 225 and now you're 215. I'm at like two, shit bomb. I'm 216 now. Joe, ever try doing cameo as a side hustle? Why? You know, I mean Gerald Armstrong. I guess like you know, I feel douchey. Number one. But also, number two, I mean, like, who's going to pay for a cameo from me? You know, I mean, I don't see that happening. And maybe a couple people and some trolley things would happen. You know, I mean, like, what, you know, it's not worth it. I mean, if people want me to say something, they can just donate and be like, hey, Joe, it's my cousin John's birthday. We both watch you. One, blah, blah, blah. I just would just do it there. You know, I wouldn't even. I mean, because to me, dude, if I, if I, I, maybe I would make a cameo, I'd make it $500. <laughs> like, I mean, I wouldn't want to do it. You know, it's like what at once a week, you know, ten dollars comes in and someone says, "Hey, shit you know, bomb." I don't, I don't know why it would. Oh, you didn't know. Your heart's better call somebody. Oh no! Get oh, well, God. road dog. Oh man. Oh. I love road dog, man. I'm so worried. I hope he's okay. I really do love him. Gerald Armstrong, what's up, Gerald? And this just made me realize how much I really, really love this guy. I mean. You know, I know that I got a little bit bitter for a little bit here or there with him a little bit, and but none of it was really real. It was just me kind of fucking around. And but I mean, the guy put my commentary over. The guy sent my commentary to Michael Cole. You know what I mean? The guy gave us, hooked us up with uh, great contacts and great abilities to. Check out the WWE product when need be. And I mean, Road Dog did a lot for me, man. And we had a lot of fun during those times uh, because Road Dog uh, was it was just awesome. So I, I met a lot of you guys hanging out all these places. And, um, you know, Road Dog did not have to do that. Especially the commentary stuff. You know what I mean? I mean, sure, they went with Vic Joseph, but, you know, I mean, you know. Look at me. I got. I got. A, I look like a. I look like a douche hole. You know. I mean, Vic Joseph just looks like Nosferatu ate a cock. But you know, the other day on corrupted, we are getting. I mean, on on a monetize this. Alex Jones called in. If you guys miss monetize this the other night, by the way, Red Comet Man is the king of the wheel. I mean, this guy won with one million something points the other night. It was it was fun. Red Comet. We have to put him on the board for this. Comet Man is the king of the wheel for the week. The king of the wheel of funk. Larry Funk, rest in peace, Larry. I love you, and I miss you, brother. I was listening to a couple old takes the other day and uh, hearing Larry's voice, man, and he just, 
I just love that guy, man. I miss that guy so much. Like, you know, and I, I remember all the times we thought he was dead and he wasn't. And then unfortunately for him to die, um, still kind of bothers me. Um, you know, especially since we talked to him that SummerSlam and everything was going so well. And then stupid COVID basically took him out. I mean, it's just crazy to think that that guy beat everything. His his body took his new liver. And then COVID happens and he dies. It's crazy. And more and more people are coming out that the that the that the naughty the naughty word thing that we all could get catch and get sick came out of a, a labby do. According to a lot of people, uh, according to scientists now are saying it doesn't make any sense other than that. Which is kind of crazy, because uh, everybody was so in denial about that. Now, ooh, look at this. My theory is they didn't want to create like a international incident and a racial incident, so they were like, "Let's just cover it." You know, what are we gonna do? You know, it happened. What? You know, if we tell people this, holy fuck! You know, people will want you China's ass. You know. So I think for the good of good of humanity or whatever you want to call it from people being angry they sort of just like oh no it's a bad i mean i don't know that could be bullshit i have no proof of that at all i'm just saying some scientists are starting to say that now and so interesting stuff i don't know if it's true but um it's something to think about you know you got to think about everything chicken wing chicken wing hot dog and bologna Uh, it goes something like that. Anyway, I don't know. My daughter listens to that all day long, so now it's in my head. It's like the shark. Remember Baby Shark? Da, 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 and you were like in the car while your kids are in the back seat, and you're like driving, and they're like, Baby Shark! Da, 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 baby Shark! And you're just like, Fah! And you're just losing your mind, like freaking out. I mean, listen, I, I feel it, bro. All right. What else we got? It's coming in. Let's see what we got. I did drop the donation link in the chat, guys. Uh, people are asking. The donation amounts are listed down below, and they all trigger and work. As long as you use the Streamlabs Perfect uh, Sparrow deal below, just use that. Otherwise, you can use Stream Elements down below, too, either one you want. It's for credit cards mostly, uh, but you can use it for whatever you want. Both links work. Or you can Super Chat if you want to give 30% of your stuff to Google. Um what up to the chat? There's so many bio labs here in America. The government should, yeah. Well, the rumor was not to get into it because I, you know, I don't know what you can and can't say anymore. But the rumor was they couldn't get, they got caught here doing it, so they brought it to the the red flagged country with stars on it, and they uh, did it there. And then this is the thing that got out. So I don't know. That's the weird conspiracy rumor thing. That is sort of backed up by some scientists and credible people in a way, but we'll never know probably. So, you know, I don't know. I'm 50-50 on it, you know. I'd be an idiot to go one way or the other, I believe. So I'm always 50-50. Hey, I don't trust anybody. DTA, Stone Cold Steve Austin taught me that shit a long time ago. DTA. Um, tonight my wife is going to try Guinness for the first time after last week trying uh, Jameson. She's going to be doing that on the uh, Corrupted show tonight. If you guys have not become a patron, you can you can hear Corrupted tonight for just $1. So, $1, Patreon. Check it out. Man, I, I inhaled those. Uh, I inhaled that salad and chicken wings, dude. I feel like I'm choking right now. I inhaled it, dude. I didn't eat a friggin' thing today. I had a car wash. I cleaned the car out. I raked a bunch of leaves. I moved tons of broken sticks and just tons of sticks. Every stick and tree branch that ever broke in my yard for the last two years since moving into this house uh, that fell down was in a pile back in the backyard. And guess what? The pile was on top of a flattened cement area in the back where a shed used to be. And I just was like, we're never going to put a shed there. Well, guess what? Daddy Joe decided to put a shed there. So I had to move the pile of everything over and it was like watching every storm that ever happened moving all the tree branches good news is i have a shitload of kindling like great firewood starting firewood stuff this wood has been sitting there a lot of it for a year or two years drying out in the sun beautiful amount of wood for like starting fires and then i got a cord of wood that's stacked up that i, I stacked all that i broke some wood i had my axe today and my you know, i look like a fucking goddamn psychopath in my backyard uh, it was a lot of fun, and then we started building the shed. 
We got the base down, and then we couldn't get the grooves in because it was all fucked up and warped because I'd been letting it sit in the backyard and it came out of the packages because fucking squirrels went into the goddamn thing and ripped all the friggin' um, all the shit off, right? Like So it was like three big, giantly packaged cardboard boxes with strapping on it sitting there for almost two years now, and the fucking squirrels had just taken almost all the cardboard for a nest. Right? I just watched it every day. I went, well, there they go. They're taking more of it. And eventually it all became exposed, and then the wind blew, and some of the shit blew around the yard, and I'd have to move it back into the pile. I mean, this explains my type of lifestyle, right? Because I'm a procrastinating fucking idiot. This is why I probably couldn't deal with high school or, or any fucking school whatsoever. And so, you know, the thing was like a little warp, so snapping the pins in wasn't very easy. We didn't get it even done. It got dark out, and I said, fuck this. And uh, so me and Leah are going to get that going tomorrow because I need a shed. I got shit just laying all over the place. Fucking wheelbarrows here, fucking bicycles there, uh, kids' scooters here, there, the other place, goddamn snowblower and fucking lawnmower. It's all just laying around all around the house. We look like fucking s savages. Every other house is beautiful. In my fucking house, we look like goddamn savages here. So we got that figured out, so I'm happy about that. We got the UFC right now that we got that we got to get to too. A lot of people are talking about UFC right now, and uh, obviously this this was a, this was a tougher sell for some of you guys out there. You know, I know a lot of you guys were, um, you know, you were you're like, eh, this, I'm not gonna get this one. You know, I'm not really I'm not really vibing on this UFC. You know, I'm not gonna get it. Whatever happened to the Yahoo Fight Card thing? I, I love pulling that up. That always is fun to pull up on the screen. Or maybe it's Google, Google um, UFC 260. They normally have this great little companion thing that tells you who's winning at the time and everything. And I know that UFC has it, but man, what happened to the what happened to the really good one? There was a really good one that was on like Yahoo or something, and now I can't. I don't know why I can't find it. Am I crazy? I mean, what the hell's going on? I don't know why. I don't know what the website is. I thought it was Yahoo. Swear to God it was Yahoo. I don't know. Lee is messaging me. I'm just trying to figure it out. Why she's messaging me. Um, UFC 2260 weigh-ins. Oh, maybe this is it. No, man, where is it, bro? It's the one that I always show you. I, I show you guys this all the time. Where the hell is it? You remember when Ronda Rousey got knocked out in 200? Yeah, dude, it's like they're flying by now, man. Let me go into Discord. Nikki J, the weed god, might, might know what I'm talking about. Yo, the weed god's here. What's up? What's up, dog? Brother, I'm looking for this damn fight companion thing. It's driving me nuts. Hold on one sec. I got you, fam. All right, here we go. I usually show it on stream. I'm always looking at it. It's great. It like tells you, you know, who's up next and who's winning and shit. And I'm like, why can't I find that link? I don't know why. Click. I got it here. Click on. Are you looking for the fight? No, I don't need the. F I'm not. Oh. Well, I'll take that. To well, I've already got it up actually, but I just need the. I need the, the little fight companion thing. It's like normally there's a. I felt like it was Yahoo. There was normally like a site where you just click on it. It like shows up right away with the stats, the shots, all this awesome stuff. And I, I don't know why I, I, I don't see it. Uh, I type it in on Google and it gives me like a little tail of the tape thing. When I type in UFC like 260, it comes up like uh Comey. It, it's like there would be little tabs where you could like click on the undercard and you can click on yeah. the prelims and you click on the main Yeah, when fight. I Google UFC 260, that comes up. Like, What? I See, it usually comes up for me too and I don't see it. What's the website address? I, I just type in UFC in Google. That's what I did. That's what I used to do. Yeah, and it just comes up you. like right here, UFC 260. No, because I just went live here. Why? I asked you this earlier. I was like, what the hell's going on? If you said 11, not 11, 10, that's even 10. I just told you, though, 11, 10, earlier when I was upstairs. I was like, yeah, probably like 11, 10, 11, 15. Just said that to you. Well, if I go do my dungeon, can I delay it a little bit then? What time are you going to be done? I don't know. It depends. If 
if the group is oh. good, it gets done really fast. If the group is shit, it doesn't it take forever. It just came up for me now. I mean, well, here's the thing. I promoted it as, I mean, I would have rather had you do it here live on the pre-show, but I promoted it as Uncorrupted now all week, all, all week. So, um, if I mean, we're going to start Corrupted at 11, 10, 11, 15. I mean, we probably, I mean, we're going to be live with Corrupted for at least an hour and a half at any point, unless you want to, unless you want to do, but I mean, you know, I don't know. Okay. You're going to come later. Clip that. Mm-hmm. Um, UFC 260. I actually found it now. Dude, how about... Sh- remember la- remember the last fight Sean O'Malley had when he lost, dude? How shocking yes. that was, dude? Yes. Oh, my God, dude. I could not believe Sean O'Malley. That was crazy, dude. And he was, like, you know, super overconfident. Like, I'm the shit. I'm on a roll. It he was-, was the first round. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Didn't he get his leg taken out or something? I don't remember now. It says it was a TKL. Let me look it up. Dude, it was it was I could not believe that. I had that as my lock. I had like a lock pick and then I had like these other picks. I don't know what it, whatever it was on the betting site, but I was like that's my lock, bro. Like that is Sean O'Malley is my fucking lock. And then he went out and got fucked and I was like, "What?" It said uh he was defeated by TK uh first round TKO. Um with a fury of strikes after O'Malley collapsed, apparently suffering some sort of lower leg injury yep, after lower receiving leg. calf kick yep. from Vera. Yeah, that's exactly. That I, I remember that he got kicked hard and he got fucked up. Look at that hair, my man. Well, he's he, God got God, He's like uh, dressed like a clown. I love it. I like it. Give him the clown hair. You know, looks like the uh, rapper that's like a rat. Rats on everybody, but he put it in his hair instead. Pretty What's the much. guy's name? Six nine or whatever his name is. Oh, that guy is fucking rat. How is he like? I I mean, like, I don't want anybody to be hurt, but I mean, I'm surprised that that, that guy's okay. He's got security. Right. Well, they've. Yeah, I mean, he pays like, him when he you pays be- his, He's got three eight foot tall guys, and he pays probably you know thirty grand a week to. Oh my God! Can you? But the, I mean, oh my God! That money has got to add up. That's a crazy amount of money. I mean, if it's thirty grand, but it's keeping him alive. Yeah. I mean, if I was him, I don't know what I would do. Move to some other country, like. But he can't. I mean, you can't miss him. He's fucking like you know. He's like. Yeah, look at him. He's got tattoos everywhere. Oh my God. UFC's whacked out tonight, man. This is crazy. Like this is. This, when you say wow. whacked out, what do you mean? I'm just surprised at some of the, like, because, you know, I was worried that, you know, that, oh, this is going to, you know, suck and whatever else. And, you know, it's just, it's been pretty good stuff. I mean, I I did have Jamie winning that lightweight fight, so that's good. I'm one for one so far. Nice. Good to go with that. I don't know. I like. I don't. Even when I'm not betting, because I'm not really betting for money. I just. Pick, I just do picks, on the site that's free, and I just like just for fun. It's rare that I do one where it's actually a bet. Um, sorry. I never really bet on any of the sites or anything. Right? Did you send me the link? Send me your link. Mine sucks. I usually, to what I'm streaming? Yeah, yeah. Send me that. Uh, this, oh, okay. this thing I'm looking at is terrible. Or it's like not working. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, just link it to me in the direct, I guess. I smell you. Because I think if you put it in here, it's like a... Or whatever, something I don't know. Fuck Somehow them. they figure it out. I don't know. I I heard someone it happened to them last time, and I was like, "Are you serious?" And then I see people on Twitch like just streaming it. So I'm like, "Well, what the? F- what?" But my luck is just took garbage, you know. Right. Yeah. You'll just. Oh yeah, ban them. 
What happened uh, to Road Dog? Okay, so yeah, Road Dog had a heart attack, uh, Jennifer. Um, he's still in the hospital because they have to do all these tests to figure out why it, why it's happening. He has a blood pressure thing, so he's still hospitalized. Um, so hopefully Road Dog's good, man. Um, <laughs> is that racist bird who also hates transgender people? I think Bird needs to apologize. He's a hateful son of a bitch, that Bird. Let me tell you. What, remember what, what the other thing he said was really fucking crazy. I mean, I'm not going to... I think he... I don't know, man. I don't know if he doesn't know what he's saying or if he was just... He said yeah, some, that's pretty fucking weird. He said some weird stuff. Like, I don't know, man. I was like, what? <laughs> like, what? I, I don't, don't even think he even knew. Because because when you replayed the one thing he said, he was just like, oh, shit, that does sound bad. Maybe it's just, just maybe. Like, uh, yeah. Maybe he had like racism in his family, and he's just grown up with it. Like, and he doesn't even realize like what, you know. I mean, maybe I don't know, or he didn't even realize what he said. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't, I'm not really sure what that. He's always been like that, though. He's always been kind of crazy. I, I, it's hard to tell when he's joking and stuff too. But that was a little bit like, ooh, like that. <laughs> he said something about uh, like, might as well have said we're superior or whatever. Fucking it was. Good Christ! Yeah, what? What is he white? Oh yeah, yeah, he's a full-on red. Oh okay. Guy. Well, his mic yesterday was so loud I couldn't tell what he was. He's part of the KKK, says Neo, the one. I mean, I've Jeez. known him. I've known him a long time, and he he has said things before where I'm like, whoa, you know. But he, I think he's just fucking. I think he likes. I think he's just a super extreme person. But um, I don't know, man. That that. I don't know. You know when you're around people and they're kidding, but you know when you're around people and you're in like a on a call with a bunch of people and someone, you know, you're making jokes. You know when a joke is, but you know when somebody says like for real, like says something like crazy, and you're like, "Is that a? Are you kidding?" Or like, <laughs> like what? Right. Yeah. I mean, that's a little weird. Not him, but like other people. You know, they're like. You can tell when someone's joking and when they're not joking, though. You're right. Yeah, I've been I've been around people like that where the. It's not a lot of people. Most people aren't like that. But once in a while, there'll be someone that says, like, maybe they dropped an N-bomb on a private talk. And then they go, you know how the somethings are and how that goes. And, and you're like, Jesus. Like, I don't know. I mean, like, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, like, you could say, like, you if you were going to stereotype people, right? Like, people do it all the time about each other. White people this, black people that, people whatever. Like if you stereotype someone, you go, well, you know how this usually happens, you know, you know, you know what happens over there. That's not so bad to me. Like you're just sort of bringing up like a sort of a, a thing that's well known about e each of us in different ways and things like that. It's not so bad. But when you when the guy drops like a like a racial slur, like when you're like not as a joke but for real, and then it's like you know how that fucking uh, goes and like, uh, and you're just like Jesus Christ, like I don't <laughs> I don't know I don't know if I'm on the same page as you here the fuck i don't know it's like it's weird it's funny it's just like holy fuck what the fuck's hmm. going on it's like uncomfortable or whatever i might maybe i'm super liberal but i mean like i'm like whoa you're making me uncomfortable you're fucking freaky you know like you like because i don't give a fuck i'll joke about all our shit all day long but like when you get real like that you're like are you kidding and then the guy's like what do you mean am i kidding and you're like oh <laughs> fucking jesus christ <laughs> you're a psycho um Oh, we lost Bullfrog, right? As I was going to tell him uh, that he could get froggy with me. Oh. So, oh, good. Bullfrog. <sighs> Yo, I... Oh, my God, dude. I, I wish I didn't see that video. I probably should have put a warning out when I tweeted that video out. I should have said, you know, heads up. This is fucked up. Um, But that teenage girl killing that guy, stealing his car or whatever that was on uh, Twitter, like... Okay. There was two of them, actually. All right, this is two people, yeah. This is the, uh, I just want to say, Drew, real quick, Leah's going to be drinking Guinness tonight with us. It's going to be amazing. But I got to say this. I've tried to open this bottle now three times and then realized it's not for me. So, is she actually going to like it, though? <laughs> you think, though? Is she what? Think she'll actually like it, though? Um, I, you know, I think so, but I, I'm, I'm, I want to take bets on whether she's going to like the whiskey more or the Guinness. That's what I want to know. Uh, if you care, Garguts is down one, uh, I'll spot. get Garguts on here, too. I got my lighting. Garguts is my homie. Imagine if, uh, Drew fell on his way to turning the lighting on. 
Yo, you made it, it across the border again. Did you bring the cocaina? You made it across ah, the border. Already. What's going oh, on? I didn't wait. I'm going to throw you back over the Sahara. Uh, you're you're a coyote. You're a coyote. <laughs> oh, my God. Gargots. What do you think? Gargots, what do you think is going to happen tonight? Do you think Leah is going to like the Guinness more or have like Jameson? Or do you think like she'll just be like, oh, they're both okay or they're both bad? or they're, what, what do you think is going to happen? Well, I'm... From what from what you just said right there, the oh they're both all right. That's what she's gonna do. Yeah, I think so. knowing her, she's but gonna cop if out. If you make her pick, I think she's going to take the whiskey. Like if you forced her to pick, because I I've, I've never known her to be much of a beer drinker in the first place. So I think the stout's gonna be a little bit of a I don't know if reality checks the word, but you know just kind of a a smack in the face in a way. And it's like okay, I expect I knew what to expect with the uh, bourbon, but not with the stout. Stout. Oh yeah, yeah. Stout, let it all out. <laughs> Sorry. Who's um, this hot chick, uh, uh, Nikki? That's the a one chick? right here? That's yeah. a chick? Are you sure? <laughs> Let me get her name for you quick. Um, I've been following the card tonight. So Miranda I Maverick. Miranda Maverick. I mean, yeah. Is she, she's attractive? She's... Is, she, is she attractive to you? I mean, for a chick who just went through a workout, yeah. I mean, the name's more attractive. Maybe if huh. she like, maybe if she slammed me, like I'd be like, all right, let's go. You know, but she would really <laughs> have to slam me. Um, you know, I had her winning as well. I went with the odds on this one, so two for two, guys. I'm two for two tonight. We got what? Now I, I picked Sean O'Malley again. He better not lose. If he loses again, then I'm concerned. Yeah, that's who's coming up next. Sean O'Malley's coming up next with uh, who's he fighting? Almeida. Some. Uh, Thomas Almeida, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I looked so at it Sean either. is twelve and one, and Almeida is twenty two and four. Mm. Mm. Yeah. That's a good so... one. That's a good one, man. Experience versus, well, I mean, Sean's got to come back from that, dude. That's what worries me, though. You know what I mean? When you think you're invincible, and then all of a sudden you get shocked, and now you're going up against a guy who's kind of a veteran with a really good record or a pretty good record. Mm -hmm. That's a this is a concerning fight for you know for Sean O'Malley to be honest. If he loses again, you know it's like ooh that's you know. But if he comes out and wins this, it's like he I think he's kind of right back on the map. He had a blip in the radar and he's going again. So and this is an experienced guy he's fighting. So interesting stuff. I don't know that much though. Obviously, I'm been out of the loop on UFC. Yeah, it's gonna be a good one. I'm I hope, excited. I hope Sean like leg kicks the fuck out of him. Or I'd like to see him do something crazy. Maybe he's like jump off the cage and like face kick him or some shit. That'd mm -hmm. be nice. Let me go uh, drop the donos. Let me see. Shit bomb. Please, please, please verbally assault YR. Time to turn YR into the whippy boy he truly is. I don't know who that is. Uh, Extreme Shaft, thanks for the $5 <laughs> and becoming a $5 shit bomb. Yeah, who, who the fuck is YR? Some people think that they know. Everything, dude. Like seriously, who the fuck is that? Extr I know Extreme Shaft is a producer, I think, on Patreon. Mm. And let me see, is he on here? Pretty sure he is. Maybe he's not. Extreme, are you a producer and you're not listed here? Let me know. I maybe crazy. Thought he was. I thought Extreme Shaft was. Yeah. Shit bomb. Joe, can I slap my big one eye against your face? No. Oh. Yeah, he's a producer, Joe. He's under the thing. You see him on there and I don't see him? What am I, dumb? Yeah, he's uh, over on the right. Look I'm under so producers and VIP. I'm retarded. Uh, Casey is raw. I don't mind. Fuck. That, but I, I was just saying that extreme shafts under the... No, I know, I know, no, I know. I just, oh, like, okay. I wonder how yeah. everybody... I don't know. It's just weird. Anyway, Extreme Shaft, hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. I, I mean, dude, that's how dyslexic I am, though. It's like I don't even see him over there. I still don't see it. I don't see it either. <laughs> I don't see it. Maybe Duncan fucking Nikki J is the weed god's What's dyslexic. What's my name? Duncan Chino. It's a whole new game. Duncan Chino. You want creamy goodness? I'm your friend. Say hello to my chocolate blend. Joe, do you like Mighty Ducks movie or Little Giants movie better? Kissing face. No, I gotta go. I gotta go. Mighty Ducks, but 
Little Giants was all right. It's a you know, yeah, yeah. It's I, I like the Mighty Ducks movies the best though. But I mean Ed O'Neill and yeah, fucking Mighty Ducks. I mean Mighty Ducks. Fuck Little Giants. Yeah, you know what you're saying. Yeah. I got. I might. You know what? I might watch Little Giants. It's been a while. I might watch Dude, it with Rick that Rice. that little lesbian girl. Did, did I like. You guys her. remember watching The Big Green? <laughs> like that oh, soccer yes. movie. Yeah, with the kid the, from um, fucking yeah. Sandlot. The other, oh, yeah, the, I never, my other favorite movie from the 90s, like that kind of genre, you know, was uh, Heavyweights, where right. they went to that fat camp, you know, the go-kart race and shit. Ooh. Yeah, I actually yeah, never saw that one. Great, great. It's a, that one's on you guys. I never saw that one. I don't know why. I you just, should, you should, oh, fucking Ben Stiller would, was on it, too. Yeah, your kids would like it, Joe. Wasn't it, like, didn't it come out later on, like, in the 2000s? Like, 2000? No, it was in the like 90s. 95. It was really? 95, yeah. Basically, it was a Ben. It was Ben Stiller, and Ben Stiller's parents were the camp directors, and they sold it to a guy who was like a house. No, it was freak. Ben Stiller's. Ben Stiller bought it from from the camp directors. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah who was his parents? Yeah. And um, he no, was no, like no. His house. parents. His parents weren't them. Uh, he. Uh, well, yeah. I met his parents. His parents. In real life. He plays his parents later. He plays his dad later, which is fucking funny. Right, uh, he's an older guy with like fucking. But did you know, cane. like the camp directors were like? Oh yeah, his real life. parents. His real yeah, that's parents. what I meant. To, that's what I was trying to say. Oh, it was like, shit. yeah, yeah. Are you sure that was his mom? Yeah. Damn, it was his mom and dad. Yeah, Google it quick. I don't for sure it was his dad. Yeah, but his mom. Yeah, that was his mom. Fucking crazy, dude! That's I'm fucking so, crazy. I'm so hyped for this fight. These guys are gonna slug it out. <laughs> Well, Thomas Almeida is going to be fighting for his life. He's lost four of his last five fights, so right. I know, I they're, they're not going to keep him around too much longer if he can't figure. His oh shit my out. God, I didn't know that. See, he's on a downward spiral even more. Then, so this is two two falling uh, rocks, and you know who's going to have the parachute? Well, I mean, you're talking about someone who just lost their undefeated streak and oh. trying to say he's on a downside. I mean, versus someone who's lost four of their last five. Well, that's what I'm saying is yeah. I didn't know Almeida had, had. I thought he lost two in a row. I didn't know he got four in a row. Holy shit! And how long yeah. ago was Sean O'Malley's last fight? It wasn't all that long ago, was it? Um, it was. was uh, wow, it was. It was August. Yeah, it was Jesus. a while ago because he got hurt. Damn. And... It feels like yesterday. Hey, Drew, when you saw that video of that guy getting killed on Twitter earlier, I mean, were you shocked that those freaking the troops didn't do a goddamn thing? They're all fucking in D.C. forever, and they, I mean, what what could they have done, though, right? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, the deed had already been done at that point, so, I mean, the well, girls pretty much stayed there. They didn't run off. Well, that well, that's the thing is like some. I just retweeted something somebody said about like the cops didn't even do anything, and I thought to myself like I don't know if you could have. I mean, this stuff started going down, and you couldn't really tell what was going on, and then all of a sudden they just drove away with the guy, and that was when people started alerting the D.C. Army that hey, something's going on, you know, and that's when well, they came in. I mean, in in the minute and fifteen second video that that was. If, if anyone who's watching that video knows what happened, but imagine being the people who just saw the car wreck and this guy come flying out of the car dead on arrival, basically, and these two women got out, you're used to seeing a driver be the one responsible for a wreck. So I'm sure in that 30 seconds that you saw there where the women got out of the car and just stood there, the, the people that are standing around there are probably wondering what the fuck just happened here. Right. You know, yeah, that, I mean, that's are, something you got to take into consideration I, as a viewer of that video. You get it, but the people on the other end don't. Not that immediately. Yeah, a lot of people yeah. reacting to it on Twitter, man. It's just a sick video. It's horrible. Like it's just like every other, <laughs> any other killing that's going on out there. You know. I mean, it, yeah. it was far enough out that, you know, when the car had driven away, his head was still sticking out, and the door slammed like two different times off of light poles and cars or shit like that. I almost wonder if he wasn't dead before the car even made it to its final destination What's because, no pun intended, but he, uh, I bet you his skull got crushed with that way that car was, uh, car door was slamming on his head. Uh, I was horrible. I'll never watch that again. Somebody was laughing and Mike was, somebody was like, you need to watch that again if you think it's funny. I was like, yeah, that was uh, messed up. Man, check out the on hold section. Check out that line up. Holy fuck. Oh God, Bullfrog, Jacob, D. Welsh. I mean, you want you, you gotta. You, 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 
You want to take your? You want to pick your poison here? Of uh, <laughs> I was just thinking uh, that too. Do you want to? <laughs> do you want to? Do you want to retard? I mean, do you want to? Re pretty obvious. You want to retard who's five minutes away from a coronary, or do you want a? <laughs> <laughs> a, 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 a fake Colombian piece of shit whose mother is a whore, or do you want, oh. or do you want to, or do you want a doxing scumbag? Which one? I can think about. It. <laughs> 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 it's like Take a fucking a international criminal. Fucking yeah. damn, yeah. Bruce Bru Bruce Buffer's showing his age a little bit. Yeah, he fall over. <laughs> no, I mean just looking at him in the face. I guess I haven't seen him in a while. His dick well, out. Okay, homo. I'm just no. kidding. No, no, you're right. No, he's he's still got it. You know, a start to get the wrinkles in in there. I mean, he's fucking what seventy. His brother's almost eighty, I think, at this point, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, yeah, they're dude. really old. Yeah, he's yeah, the he's, young one, right? Bruce yeah, is Buffer old. is sixty three. Okay, so I'm uh, and Michael Buffer's probably seventy. Then I'm fighting a little bit here. Isn't Michael it funny? Buffer seventy six. Oh, isn't it funny how he has the like the more attack style delivery, like fighting, where his brother, you know, like like the older one is like, let's Super get ready to run. Like they've all got a different yeah. style. You got it. It's pretty cool. Yeah, Michael Buffer is like the super professional. It's almost like the difference between me and you. I'm Michael Buffer and you're Bruce Buffer. <laughs> well, like, well, like oh. Bru uh, Bruce, I'm was like just like, super basic and boring, but you know, Bruce was Bruce was whatever. a doctor, oh, so he was like a little not... bit more out there, like extroverted i guess and bruce and uh michael buffer is like raised on money and shit so he i want to see the two of them announced together like have one do one fighter and one do the other oh maybe we just have them fight each other right yeah and I mean, they announce like, themselves they do the whole mr kennedy thing and announce themselves and then start beating each other with microphones I'm surprised they haven't got on AEW yet like <laughs> thinking like knowing the way that they fucking always book all that shit with it's nostalgic. They might one day book Michael Buffer for a big match. See, WWE never had to because they had Fink during the you know the fucking announcer wars or whatever you want to call it during the Monday Night Wars. That is that you know yeah. WCW would always bring in Michael Buffer. Oh, here we go. You know, flaunt their. Oh money. man, let's go. Let's go, O'Malley, Almeida, four twenty-five, and they're just uh, jabbing at each other right now. Three round fight, right? Yeah, three rounds. Yeah, yeah. three rounds. I'm here. I'm ready to go, man. I'm going to come unglued. I got whiskey here. Come on. Come on. He's still feeling my out. Are Joe, you... what's your time at the bottom? 4.07. Okay, same here. Ooh. Oh, shit. Sorry. Well, I mean, you're showing it to us live, so I mean. <laughs> well, no, I'm not. <clears throat> oh, so I shouldn't say it looks pretty great? <laughs> yeah, you should. Uh, O'Malley. Oh, <laughs> He's got me pulled up on Skype. Here. So wait, are you guys all um, cheering for O'Malley or what's going on here? Uh, you want the Brazilian to win? Yeah, I'll go with O'Malley. I mean, if I was putting money on it, I'd be going O'Malley. Yeah, me too. I picked O'Malley. Yeah, damn. Look at this. Bullfrog, where are you at, man? You dropped off again. Every time I go to put Bullfrog on, he leaves. <laughs> what an idiot. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> Are you are you okay? Like th I've heard you say, I like. Are you being serious when you say that? <laughs> yeah, I'm being super serious. <laughs> I just left. I literally had I literally had my mouse cursor over your name. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally dragging you in. <laughs> Come on. Man, I just guys, want to see fucking. That's a full rainbow. Oh, um, I know. Man, I, I, can't get, I, his hair, dude. I can't get over dumb. looking at his hair either. Mm. Fucking Fruity Loop. Listen, I love rainbows, man. Oh, there we go. Oh, there you go. Almost. Sucker him into the cage and then a little knee shot. No, now he's going for the legs. I don't think. I don't think. Ooh. Almeida has the leg strength to do the, the legs of O'Malley. What happened last time? So he can just throw that out the window. I think. That mm. other guy was pretty big too. What's oh, the difference? Shit. What's the difference Omega here? Man? Looks like the guy you picked on. Oh, oh my oh, god! Oh, oh he's god. down! Oh no! 
O'Malley! O'Malley almost oh. been kick connects! Oh, oh my that god! Was he was trying to do a walk-off. Yeah. Oh my he god. He was trying to do a walk-off TKO. A kick to the head took down oh Almeida. Oh my god. A kick to the head took down Almeida, and then a punch to the head put him back down, then a spin oh. kick to the head after Almeida was like, no, fuck you, you didn't knock me out. <laughs> and now he hit him again. O'Malley, five connections. Five shots that could knock somebody out connected, and they're still fighting right now. They're still fighting. Oh, a knee strike right to the forehead. And now a right hand. And oh man, O'Malley might have hurt himself. He stumbled backwards like after that. Ooh, I feel he's like I'm bombs. watching WWF superstars in 1994. Yeah, what the hell is going Shawn on? Shawn Michaels just toying with Barry Horowitz or something. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's funny. Barry Horowitz. Barry wow. Horowitz. I almost said Barry Hardy, but I don't think anyone would remember. You know, that I had a feeling that he was going to try and kick him in the face. I think I said that before the fight started. Well, I mean, I mean, O'Malley's good with kicks. That's what he does. Oh, oh he got man. caught. He, he got was caught. waiting for it. He missed. He caught him with the back of his on the spin kick, the back of his calf, and then he collapsed. And Almeida, does, if Almeida was a wrestler, I mean, he could have taken his leg right there. That's Jesse on hold. Jesse on hold. Guys, we're getting ready for Corrupted Podcast. We're going to have Leah here at some point trying Guinness for the first time ever. By the way, questions are up on Patreon. If you didn't ask a question yet for tonight, uh, it's up there. We'll be ready to go. And Jacob, I'll move you in in a few minutes. Oh, Mally connected with a right Shit. Gosh, kick someone's going to have a headache tomorrow. Oh, my God. Well, dude, Almeida. Oh, that Jesus was Christ. Damn. He about caught him with the heel to the temple. That would have been it. Almeida's wiping blood out of his eyes. He can't see that well. You're going to take a lot of cortisone tomorrow. This round is almost over. Thank God for Almeida. If he makes it out of this round, it's a fucking miracle. It's a miracle he's out of this round if he gets out. Uh, he should be at this point. Looks like this is the first round. Cruise. This is the first round, dude. I mean, the first 30 seconds, he almost knocked him out. Wow. He should have. If, if he was smart, he would have finished him off. Well, but he, he, yeah. he wanted to go the cocky route. He connected and walked away like, oh, I got him. And then he got up. And then he hit him again and knocked him down again. You would think the motherfucker who's coming off of the first loss of his career would be a little less cocky about finishing this one off. But yeah, hey, to each their own. Wow, uh, they want to build everybody up. Like he wants, now. he wants to, he wants to hit that homer. Like boom, like see, I'm back. Like that's what he wants to do. But it's like, dude, you're thinking way ahead. But I mean, he fuck, dude. He what did he connect with? Ten or eleven shots, unprotected, just connections of like there's eleven shots that were connected. Like that was crazy. Like dude, straight but, up. Mm. Aldima is fucking tough as a rock. Is it Aldima? We've been saying Almeida all night. Oh, Almeida. right there. Dude. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. See, <laughs> the ref was going in to stop it, but he I thought, yeah. He was like, I'm not done. Off. He's like, no, fuck you. You got to win this one. Yeah. That's like He's when you hit it, when you think guy. you hit a home run and you go to walk and then it fucking goes foul or someone catches it. It's just, you look like an asshole. I don't know, man. All that right, was crazy. See. Here we go. It's round two starting for everybody in the chat who's wet. A lot of women in the chat wet. I don't know why I said that, but they are. I know they are. I'm Trump. I understand. Yes. Grab him by the pussy. Yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> grab him by the pussy. <laughs> grab him by the pussy. Grab him by the pussy. And then go, grab him by the pussy, and then you go to jail. Because <laughs> like, you know, I got all the stats here. You know, we have them all down from Guantanamo Bay. You know, there was that one agent that was Dr. Agent motherfucker. Dude, he, he like spit out like 70 rants, 70 fucking facts, and not even like finish them off. He's like fucking Brian Meltzer. Just going, uh, 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 uh. I listened uh, to the friggin' uh, uh. Alex Jones call that we Ooh. did the last night like four times earlier. I don't know. It's so <laughs> funny to me. Like all you guys interacting with it, it was just oh funny to me. Oh my God, the dirt to dirt list is growing Dude. on hold. Jesus. Somebody put oh, that no. on a. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, Joe! That was a fucking that. That needs to be something because it's already so, oh. to, well to listen. I don't know, dude. That Just was make funny. a room, make a new room that called damn. shit list. Do, 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 huh. room. Oh, 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 Almeida! Oh no! Oh, he got no. kicked okay, in the shin. Come he, on, O'Malley, let's go. Oh, he, got, he got blasted in yeah, the shin, I, stumbled. On the this. Do, 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 Discord, sorry. Just, I'm just so start another voice chat called Special Ed Only and. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Special room. And yeah. <laughs> this is a full on uh boxing match right now. But O'Malley's kicks, man, I mean, dude, I can't believe that he just landed so many kicks just 
I would rather have them doing this kind of fighting than on the ground. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is fun to watch. Oh, man, he went after the leg. O'Malley caught Almeida's leg. He's trying to bust his stomp leg. Stomp his foot. Yeah. Yeah, foot stomp after the kick. Mm -hmm. Oh, there, there's the uh, list of head strikes. Look at that shit. Oh, my God. 12. I mean, wow. O'Malley's going to win. 12 to the head, 14 to the body. Unless, <laughs> unless Almeida knocks him out. He's gonna lose this fight because I mean he he hit eleven mm -hmm. he made yep. like, I, I I guessed eleven strikes that made connection, and they were to the head. Most of them, I think there was a few body shots, but now they're just sort of like, you know, tapping. They're making little taps with the legs and little uh, boxing here. It's a lot of boxing stuff. Little looks like. Uh, Kickboxing right now, to be honest, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is Casey is Ross still in the chat there? I mean, he could jump on the on hold section and get us, you know, a complete five going there. Yeah, we, we <laughs> might. We, we, can, we, can, we can have a special head basketball team. We might hit a, a, a combined IQ of one ten. That'd be wonderful. Well, and eighty of that comes from Jacob, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about him, man. He might have some kind of. He's dealing with some kind of fucking autism that we don't know about. I think. Which is okay. We I would have never thought this, but Sean O'Malley's from Montana. Wow. What was For some reason, I just never would have thought that. The only time an athlete came out of Montana and actually won 12 in a row. Well, I mean, he's dressed like a lot of people from Portland, so I mean, like, you really that surprised out there? But he is fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, which means that's probably where he's living right now. Okay. Fighting! Sorry. Out of Glendale, Arizona. I love that he's, you know, I love rainbow shit, you know, you know, and it's not, not, you know, I'm not mad at people, but you know, it's like, if I wear rainbow shit, it's like all the times like people are like, oh yeah, listen, I support you. And I'm like, oh, I'm not gay. I just like rainbow shit. And they're like, what? And then, then they almost call me You're the F word. Poser. Yeah, no. Yeah. It's like, well, dude, I love, I love <laughs> rainbows way before any, like what the fuck? Like the hell? Yeah. How dare you? I like rainbows. Damn it. Fighting out of you. Missoula, Montana. Oh, um, just die. <laughs> <You know? laughs> how dare you take their clout? Uh, you know how much courage it takes for somebody to come out? You know what? I'll just say my brother-in-law is gay, and I'll be like, oh, well, you know, it's for him. It's like O'Malley uh. might be ready to do <laughs> something here. O'Malley is just, yeah, he's just kind of feeling it out. Like, what's going to happen? He's getting ready. Oh, right as he went to throw, he got thrown at. That was crazy. Almeida's just We're out. enjoying the back, his back against the cage. It seems like tonight. Almeida looks like he's like, terrified. Like he just, he's like, I'm off the steroids. I'm <laughs> right? off the steroids. Nobody yeah. knows. I'm off the steroids. Fuck! I don't know how to do this without fucking animal. Oh, oh! no! Oh, okay. oh my! No! Uh, he's just on his back. He's just on his back. O'Malley like, just. O'Malley went for a flying knee, and Almeida, when he slipped and fell, Locked Almeida it. took about two or three shots down to his face there. Yeah. Alme Dude, O'Malley's He's hurt himself twice in this fight. The only thing has gone wrong has been himself. Cool. And by the way, Almeida is so tired and unable to do anything, he can't even capitalize on these things. Mm -hmm. How do you not know some kind of grappling move there? I mean, that well, legs... Go do well, and not go to do mention shot, standing quick, come there. Here back. Standing okay. out there exposed him to a potential up kick. Like he he should not have stayed there. He should have dove on the guy or fucking something. But don't don't stand there and try and punch. Get get down on him. We're in the break right now, uh, round two. So round three is coming up. This fight is O'Malley's unless he gets knocked out, or or like Almeida just goes off or something. I mean, like I just you know eighty five percent. This is looking O'Malley unless he somehow got knocked out or something like that. I think he's just waiting for him to slip up and then. I mean, in. which one? <laughs> uh, Almeida is waiting for O'Malley to slip up. I mean, like what in the hell? Right they now. they've got bottles of water with Monster Energy on it. That is the weirdest fucking thing. All right, yeah, I, I, I asked that. On it. The last pay per view that. I watched, I asked some people. I was like, "Did Monster come out with some water? Because they have labels <laughs> on it." Yeah, yeah. When I was at when I did Mon uh, the Mayhem tour, it was sponsored by Monster. Right. They had it been fucking oh, cans. They'll stick their they'll stick their label oh, anywhere yeah. someone will put it. You know. But like so it's then, no, it's just water, thing. right? Like it's nothing special. Yeah. It's, well, in a fucking can, it tasted terrible. It tastes like the fucking garden right. hose water. Yeah. yeah. Just but, all lead. So I guess that's why they put them in water bottles now. I thought. Okay. Back for round three now. Here we go. It's round three. As soon as this fight's over. Come on, let's go. I want a knockout, O'Malley. I want a fuck on the ground. All right. Look at this. 
Guys, we're going to be going live for Corrupted in a few minutes here. And Leah is here, so we're going to be doing the Guinness gimmick, too. Oh! Oh! oh. Mally oh. caught him hard with a kick. I saw someone asking in the chat. I know you mentioned it earlier, Joe, but yeah, Road Dog had what is uh, seeming to turn out to be maybe a mild heart attack. Um, I've been even seeing some things on Twitter that seems a little more positive in his favor. So, yeah, it's really, uh, it, you know what it is, because of the blood pressure and some of the other stuff, they're keeping him over to do these studies and observations to find out exactly what's going on. But he's, I think he's okay right now. It's just they're trying to figure out what happened so they can stop it from happening again so that's yeah he's not like dying right now you know they're just trying just to make sure vince. vince gave him a heart attack finally i mean he's yeah. not getting any younger but he's definitely still in good shape so it, you definitely want to you know figure out what's going on because yeah still kind of young to be having a heart attack if i really hope uh, he's all right i love seriously i love road dog man i love that guy yeah and i feel bad that he like you know Left Twitter and got beat up and everything. He took things to heart for real. Oh, I forgot he left Twitter. Oh. Big kick okay. to the back there. Oh. O'Malley's Jesus. got this for sure. Ooh, combination O'Malley left and just right. letting him come in, too. Yep. Oh, that time I mean, he... I feel like O'Malley could finish this whenever he wants, and he's just choosing not to. Well... He, because now he's so far ahead, it's like he doesn't need to risk it. You know, he was super cocky. Although, I'm telling you, man, he just got caught, though, with a left by Almeida to the side of the face. That could have been trouble. But I don't think Almeida's got enough behind any of this shit that he's doing. He doesn't look like he's... Yeah, but do you really want to stay in the cage any longer than you have to? Because all it takes is one punch the right way, and the tide turns, you know? Yep. Dude, can you imagine I if O'Malley never... loses this fight? If O'Malley loses this fight, like, that, what? What? Right now, the way it's going. What happened to uh, Chael Sonnen that one time against uh, Anderson Silva? He had that yeah. thing fucking wrapped up. And then, you know, halfway through the fifth round, uh, you know, Silva caught him. Well, it's up to Shit. O'Malley here. Does he want to just Whoa. play? Does he want to play chicken right now and just run away and fuck around? Or does he want to go for a knockout and keep going? It seems like when he lays back, he's letting Almeida get shots on him. But when he goes at Almeida, Almeida can't do shit. So he should just keep going at him, I think, because playing chicken with him now, I think, is worse. But I don't know. He's just trying to hang in. Now he's taunting him, kind of. He's head faking him. He doesn't want the knockout of the night purse. <sighs> well, he almost had Ooh. it earlier. Spinning a... Come on. One of you open up on the other. That was a big spin kick there. Almost landed. Yeah, I couldn't tell if it was going to be a back fist or a kick at first. Well, he's messing around with him, trying to see if he can get a different look at him, I think. I think that's what I mean, O'Malley's he's left, doing. He's left himself up open so many times. I, it's well, just enraging to watch O'Malley just play with him like this is a fucking sparring contest. Maybe he forgot this was a match. Well, he's leaving it, but he's like... he Oh, oh, oh my oh, God. He tried. Flying, spinning heel kick or whatever by... Slipping. Almeida <laughs> slipping, yeah. No, he went into the atmosphere what? like... Uh, he went up and came crashing down like Kobe's copter, bro. He went. See, look oh, at he's this. in trouble. Come on. Oh, oh no! Oh, my God. Wow. Wow. See that right there tells you he was wow. fucking with him. Wow. That so right there. Holy shit! So wow. If anybody Jeez. doesn't know what just happened, if you're not watching this, basically Almeida like stumbled after being hit, and he was basically out, and the ref still wasn't calling the fight, and Almeida was laying on the ground, kind of like, oh, I think I might be out of it, and. The ref didn't call it, so O'Malley came in and blasted him once. A free shot, basically. He broke his nose. Yeah, that was a free I shot. Think it was already, I think that nose is already uh, in rough shape, but yeah, he finished it off. What what got him though? That's what I'm. I missed it. Oh, He's that shot out. to the that blow to the ribs. Oh no, no, that's no. This is old stuff. Okay. I was like, what I'm the hell sure got it was him? Was a slip because he kind of rolled around the mat oh. after the oh, slip. Oh, it was that kick right there. And, right? Then, and then went into that uh, protected position, and he just went right through Ooh, it. Ooh, body shot. Oh, it was the liver. I'm still waiting yeah. to see what it really really was that got him to fall. Unless it was just fatigue. Okay, okay, kick to the leg. We're still waiting for what dropped him. Okay, that right, that left, rather. Oh, the left dropped him okay, down. Okay, so he did, he did catch something, yep. and then he went into the yep. defensive position. And he went, oh, boom! Oh, right. He just took it. Uh, well, I, I think... Wow! That, well, I see, now I missed that the first time around, that little hook that sent him down, Whoa. and he rolled into the defensive position. Holy and shit. I, I almost think if you go back and look at that, it's like the ref said, dude, you've got to do something else to finish him. I'm not calling this fight. He yeah. goes in and just goes, oh, 
right, haymaker. <laughs> yeah, I mean, dude, like oh, Almeida was laying on the ground. If you didn't see it, he's laying on the ground like, uh, and the ref wasn't calling it. So O'Malley comes in and just goes, boom, like, and like all right, free shot. Hey, props to the ref. Fuck you with your fucking walk-off shit. Finish him. I know it's not Mortal Kombat, but fucking finish It was. Him, that dude. was Mortal Kombat. Finish him. That's what we just saw, bro. We <laughs> yeah, just saw shit. Mortal Kombat. Like, everybody knew it. Like, oh, my God, he's defenseless. Boom. Like, like see you later. Like, okay. Look, you're not Jose Batista, motherfucker. You're fucking fight. Should do we do it. Let, let's it let's let's give away Leah drinking Guinness for free. Fuck it. How about we do that? Let's do that. She then we can it? do then we'll do the corrupted podcast after that. OK, everybody. Okay. So um, there you go. Let's go ahead and get to it. I thought I didn't. I actually I wasn't sure what was going on tonight. I thought Leah was actually going to hang out. I didn't know it was like. I, we got to get it going, man. There's some dungeons going on up there. Leah, come here. Where's your chair? And Almeida, I hope you enjoyed your time in the UFC because yeah, I'm chilling. Think so, whatever you want to do, man. I'm, yeah, I'm, you're uh, that shaky leg you walk. Retire. What's that shaky leg walk he does? The fuck is that all you about? can't carry that? I don't know. Well, that just shows uh, what. Do you know <laughs> what is? Like, what's wrong with you? It just shows he prefers men. Oh, <laughs> I had to think Ugh. of a safe way to say it, because <laughs> you know what I want. Like guys, I would have said do it later. Okay, take I your mean, bets. If, if his hair didn't tell you, take the bets. Oh, okay, Where are the bets now? Uh, will Leah like this less or more than the other alcohol? I think less. What's I don't think she's going to dislike it, but I think she's going to like it less. You think well, she's going to like it less? Bet you a dollar. Yeah. A dollar? You want to bet me a dollar, S.A.? Bet you a dollar. Huh? You want to bet me a dollar? Leah, he wants dollar. to bet a dollar. The Mexican wants to bet a dollar. I even donated. He's not. Uh, he's actually from America. He's not. Well, he's Hispanic. He's not from. I'm from this side of the border. <laughs> you were born in, in Texas, right? Yeah. Y'all know me. I, if I can, we've talked. I've talked to Leah before about. Uh, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to make sure because I'll I'll fuck it up and, pre- and like fuck it all up on you. Oh, I'll be like, what? Oh no, um, you were in Nevada. I don't know. Oh, you were in Nevada. Nevada. You know, um, Alex Jones was going off about that yesterday. Oh, too bright. What? I'm trying to make about? it brighter in here because it's so dark. You can barely see Leah in the corner. Why oh, my hair so blonde? I was bald. Oh yeah, it's funny. Yeah. Yeah, it does. <laughs> kind of, not really. That's blonde though. Yeah, it's weird. Her hair is blonde right there, so it looks like she's bald, but it's just blonde, here. so it's missing. Fixed. You gonna do? Last time you played with your hair for like an hour during the stream, I was like, wow, you really you like play with? It is like a mirror, but that's what Tommy used to do. He'd be like, be like Tommy, just stop. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> there we go. Now we got that's light. Bright as hell. Well, now the the now the light came on. Yeah, it's too bright. All right, let me fix it. Okay, now people can uh, see. Studio lighting's always too bright. Well, I don't even have the studio lights up. Oh, this I'm not used to this phone now, not having a back. All right. We got the Guinness, and Leah brought a beer bottle opener, right? <laughs> Just use your table like last time. How do you do it? Every uh, set you, of keys should have one on it. There you, you smack go. it on there. There Boom. you go. I didn't get it off. You didn't? No. That's what she said. All right, let me see. I'll do it. I'll figure it out. Dude, this okay. is weird. They got Machine Gun Kelly there with Megan Fox, and enough. then Travis Barker there with Courtney Kardashian. Are you serious? They just showed it. I, they literally just showed it. Not even joking. They're sitting what? up there in like leather furniture and shit. Leather furniture? <laughs> yeah, I'm not even joking. Oh my god, bro. What is going on? Easier to wipe back. down. I wonder if I can go back. What, are you going to jerk off to it or something? I mean, like, what's... No, I was going to show you. <laughs> oh, okay. What, what, am I going to jerk off to it? See? I mean, you could. I don't know. There's yeah, that would have been right good. There. You guys just do it together. <laughs> Fourth honeymoon, maybe? I don't know. You tell me. Oh, me and Leah, we could go on another honey. You want to go on a honeymoon with nothing but dildos packed in our suitcase? <laughs> yeah, that, very enticing. Just hanging yeah. on the walls. You can rip off your favorite one off the ceiling. Oh, God. Yeah. I think I just ripped my headphone jack. We're going to get this beer open eventually. <laughs> they got to go hunt down. See, I've always, we always have one on our set of car keys. Every, every set of car keys. 
It's just what you do. It smells like beer. It smells well, like it's, beer. It's beer. <laughs> it smells like That's beer. What it is. But we're going to take your bets, man. Whiskey or beer? Will she like the whiskey better or the beer? That's the big real. That's what I'm wondering about. We're doing this is free, she, guys. Please sign know, up on is Patreon. She, is she Irish? Nope. Well, also, you got to remember well, it was in the fridge for a while, too. And then because it went I was going to say, if, she, if she's Irish, she might like Guinness. That's going to take a while, Leah. <laughs> but then again. You should have let me pour it. I didn't know if I was going to do that. I guess it could Le- go either way. Leah just poured it like fucking. Like now there's a huge head on it. <laughs> like, I mean. Ooh. Oh, dang. I mean, like. Oh, yeah, you got to wait for that shit to fucking. Yeah, you got to pour it sideways. Like, what the fuck? Can I just sip it out of the well, bottle? Well, Guinness is a little just different. Out of Actually, the is it any is different it? out of a bottle? Drink it out of the bottle. You got to pour it sideways. Bottle? Yeah. Because you. I mean, Here we go. You've had it, right? What? You've had it. Yeah, oh, a lot. Right. Yeah. I don't, I'm not a big. because. All right, we're going to find Ooh, out. good. I kind of like it. Oh my oh. God! Whoa! Wait a minute! You didn't smile like that with the with the whiskey. With the whiskey, you were like, and you like looked at like, this is all right. But with you, it's, that was a crazy smile. There was like there. an instant oh. smile on her face. Yeah. Wow! It's almost like your all your alcoholic Going family members from- gave you a back rub after you drank that. <laughs> like, how have I never <laughs> tasted generations this? Generations of alcoholics. <laughs> That's she, she hilarious. Had- when was the last time she drank beer, though? I I don't think I've ever seen her drink beer on air. Oh. Well, I don't think Leah ever has drank beer on air. It's usually wine. Well, period. Wine. I mean, when was the last time at all she yeah, Her period beer. was like a week and a half ago. Did you hear what he said? He brought it up. No, I didn't, I didn't say that. Shut the you fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny, though. Come on. Well, I got, no, when I was got, the last time she... Fuck. On air or not, when was the last time Leah had a beer? Oh, it's been a while. Is it usually like oh, just a domestic... A I didn't know she could hear me. Is it usually just a domestic beer or do you do <laughs> what? Like, this craft-like beers? <laughs> you patting me on the back? I said, yeah, good job. You didn't make Yeah, I'm a getting face. used to it, I think. <laughs> I'm getting used to it. <clears throat> now it's getting worse. <laughs> You're such a... <clears throat> I You're took less of a drink. Fine. It's going to be all right. Enjoy the burn. Enjoy the burn. You okay? Enjoy it. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm looking at the weed gods that burn layout. burn is your friend. Until <laughs> you start burning down relationships, then it's not your friend. Put it away. What do you think? <laughs> Jesus. Leah, would you like to speak to Bullfrog tonight? Ew, no. Why not? <laughs> oh, fuck. Good we call. Good to? answer. Good no, answer. we don't, right. Jesse. We can keep him away. Should we go do a dono? I mean, you can do it. Shit ever. bomb. We're gonna be live on He's corrupted. Soon. I should poop on that belt, then send it to you. I mean, I, you should have pooped have on Leah the belt. Here, fucking bullfrog, eh? <laughs> yeah, dude. Looking at this highlight reel, is this the Stepe match? Stipe. No, oh no, that's Tyrone. No, it's my bad. One. My bad. He's fighting tonight. Are you serious? Yeah, he's the co-main event. I, I, oh, well, for I some reason, that. I thought we were at the main event. And I'm like, dude, I, I, I knew he looked like Woodley, but I'm like, is this the dude? Yeah. <laughs> You know what's fucked. crazy is like say they go in here, but then like 10, 20 seconds, one of them's knocked out. Like, right. oh, and then it goes right into Stepe. Like, oh shit. I mean, Woodley hasn't won a fight since he lost the welter welterweight belt. Shit, ba- uh-huh. ugh, the welterweight right. belt. Joe, in what's your favorite New Age Outlaw match? I, I got to go at WrestleMania fourteen, maybe because that was like the culmination of all that shit that went down. So, JCS Foot Rub, I guess it's that one, the dumpster match or whatever. Because I just loved that. It's probably not the best one. There's probably other ones I'm not thinking of, but that was just a good one. Caucasians Uh, shouldn't uh, have that much light, um, says Jacob. (laughs) (laughs) Dude, they had a lot of good matches on SmackDown and Raw, too. Like, they were, you know, like they weren't all on pay per views. Yeah. They they had a lot of shit. I wouldn't even know what their best match was. Be put on. I could put Jacob on. No, I, I was saying like he cool should take it. Hey, hey no. Joe. Yeah. I'm kind of excited <laughs> to see Logan no, Paul wrestling. next week. Logan Paul would be good as a wrestler because he has wrestling experience other than most of these celebrities. That would be really cool. <sighs> Could you imagine that? What? If they did a glue stick instead of the Vaseline? They just as a joke or something, so the other guy gets all sticky handed. 
What do you think <laughs> Logan Paul's wrestled as men? Well, no, I think it would be worse for the person with think... the glue on them. Yeah? I don't think Logan Paul would Picharo, be thank you, man. Right. Yeah, I, I don't know, man, about Logan Paul and all that stuff. You know, I mean, it's whatever. I mean, I get the marketing. They don't have anybody big enough, so they're going up for outside celebrities. Problem is, none of these kids are going to be like, ooh, Logan Paul's in WWE. Let me check that out. Okay, this is WWE. Oh, this is dumb. Mm. Like, they're not going to be like, wow, I got to watch this. They're going to be like, my friends would beat me up shit for watching bomb. this. You become Whoa. a shit bomb. JCS foot rub with the $10. Thank Sign you. him up for fucking apartment wrestling. Let's go, JCS foot rub. Thanks for $10, you cracker. Appreciate Please that. Target. It's got it. I didn't get it at all. I was busy looking at Leah's breasts. Um, yeah. Appreciate that. Oh, oh. She's like all covered up. I'm pretending like there's these guess, breasts out. There he is, you know. the biggest racist in the UFC. This guy's the biggest racist in the UFC? He hates white yeah, people? Yeah, he thinks everybody's out to get him. He thinks he thinks because he loses matches that it's a oh. it's a race thing and that the judges are out to get him. Oh, yeah. If you look oh. up, shit he bomb. said that shit. What up, Joe? Yo. Will Ngannou earn his freedom today? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, you? you talk about the timing of that? Oh my wow. god. god Oh my god, dude, what the fuck? Omar Fakarani, what's going on, bro? Omar Fakarani <laughs> What? He's Middle Eastern. What the fuck? What are you making fun of? His name Fakarani? How how is he blaming race on him losing See the Euros his last he's fight? He with? lost to a rib injury. It, he honestly, stepped away from his own fucking fight. If you look it up, you'll you'll see it. He, he, it's even gotten Dana White upset at him before. What? Like there is stories on it. What Drew, are your seriously. thoughts on Logan Paul coming to WWE oh, next week? Oh fuck? no, not again, Robbie Hyde. What's going on, Robbie? I'm gonna take this and go. I'm happy. Wait, were you leaving me? What you guys are talking about all that stuff? I'm not interested. You don't want to sit here for a few more seconds? I'm gonna miss you. His voice gets higher and higher and higher. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you. Please don't leave me. About UFC? UFC. I don't care at all. I know, but we're going to do Corrupted. We want to stay for Corrupted? boring. Every time I see one of these fights, it's like punch, punch over. Is that what it's going to be like? You, this guy's uh, earning his... Yeah, you got to stay for punch, Corrupted. Come on. Over. This guy's learning his freedom. Oh, you want to <laughs> see it? Um, Michelle, he's, get her to I say Curdler. Can you say nah, Curdler? Oh, Jesus. I'd rather have her on the show <laughs> than make her do... He's fighting his Fucking masses. Christ. Can you say yeah. I took Scott's dick? No. Um, <laughs> no, I don't know why. Sounds like sounds like he's going to be taking someone's <laughs> this rate. Like, oh, like yeah, what? If, what if she just goes for the wait for the? Or, I don't know. What if she just you goes wanna, for the fight and then comes back? Jesse when we wants you to be uncorrupted. You want to be uncorrupted, Leah? Yeah. What the I fuck. Run Gotta be here with these assholes. No, she wants to. You know, you know what she wants to do, Jesse. Come on. She wants Jesse. Both of her mouses. No, a different, different one, mm. different thing. Yeah. Uh. She wants to run dungeons. She's clicking the mouse. Ooh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, what do you mean? What the she hell? Do the dishes. Go do so the dishes. Why? I mean, I... I did the why wouldn't you? I mean, you all there? Freaking cleaning. She actually did the dishes, and she cleaned, like, my daughter. Dude, my daughter, like, put soap all over the mirror, cut, lathered it in oh, white shit. soap. Oh, what? There was oh, wow, dude. paint I'm colors so drenching... The fucking drain, the Barbie dolls all in it, <laughs> and like so that. Wow. I just like blow a microchip or something. Like no, that's Brenna every day. She tears things apart, oh, draws shit. on everything. She's she nuts. She also had the little you couscous or whatever or all over her room. Yeah. So I had to clean up the Literally whole room to... and then vacuum up, <laughs> vacuum up like nine million of those things. Yeah, my daughter is you me on crack. Like if you put me you on crack, duct tape children like that <laughs> to like yeah. a chair. I pulled the piano <laughs> keys off my mother's piano when I was a kid. Like, pulled every piano key off. Just, wow. I was crazy. She I think I broke them. my, like, Lord of the Rings book from, like, the no. 70s. Yeah, like, she, ripped off, uh, she ripped off, uh, she ripped, Leah's Lord of the Rings book up from the 70s. Oh, shit. The pages oh, out of no there. No way. It was actually one, it's like one corner. It's, yeah. Could have been worse. Oh, she still oh, okay. long hair. I'm surprised Leah didn't fucking Oh, look, there hair. he is. Hmm? There he is. Hmm? Scotty was here for a second. He wanted to talk about his cock in you. Or something. Oh, huh? great. Oh, Nikki J brought yeah. it up. It wasn't me. What? 
You said curdler or something I'm, like that. Oh yeah, curdler. Okay. That's Whew, true. I didn't say anything. Well, then in that no, case, I didn't say anything else. I I just in, took it there. In that <laughs> case, I, I kind of doubt it was really him anyway. I'd rather be about the curdler than the cock and Leah. Jeez. Whoa. <laughs> uh, what? What was uh, said, dude? What was said earlier that was hilarious? I don't remember what it was. But it was really oh, funny. Oh shit! Oh, grapple him up. Wow, this guy's going oh, okay. up. He's got around the freedom. Cage. I don't know, awesome. man. This is some weird. When last night or earlier? What, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me take a look at this fight. Ty, dude, I'm never betting against a guy called Tyrone Woodley. I'm not betting. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not betting. You, you would have lost a lot of money the last three I fights. Am, I will never bet against a guy named Tyrone Woodley, but I will hide my wallet. Um, so this fight's oh. looking really... No, I'm just kidding. No, I, th I got money on Tyrone, bro. I got money on Tyrone big time. You say he's a crybaby, though, huh? He's a crybaby type of guy? Probably why they gave him a Brazilian tonight. That way he couldn't cry. Well, he can well, still cry right. racism, but at least, you know. You're right. He's not. He's like, well, they're, he's half white, you know. The Brazilian guy's right. half white. And, you know, Brazilians are great because you can wipe. I mean, I mean, when you lose a fight to a unanimous decision to a guy named Gilbert, yeah, I could see why you would scream racism. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, you don't want to lose to Gilbert. Listen, some some of dude Tyrone's legs compared to this guy are phenomenal. It's like Tyrone's legs and his body. This looks extremely gay. This does look really gay. You missed the best fight earlier. <laughs> like it was so good. Understand? Like they're like tell her like think about this like in a street fight. Well, why don't you call your brother and be like, yo, watch this. These motherfuckers just hug okay, so long, longer than me they... and my girlfriend has I'm hugged like, my whole life. I wonder what she's gonna think you. when one of them knocks the other one out. Like, all right, we should. I, I guess you should. I'm gonna let Leah go because we are just talking about UFC. We well, gotta, we, well, we, we gotta get over later. to corrupted. We're gonna miss the main event. You realize that? I don't need to watch two dudes like hump each other. <laughs> no. Shorty short. All right. Well, well shit. Um, you you I mean, filmed it yeah. when I was at your house. I mean, you filmed it reluctantly. <laughs> It, like, like I don't know. Enjoy the that, Guinness. It's like one more fight, and then we go. Jesse is that's, dying for you. He's like gonna. He's gonna cry if you leave. Listen, you're in. Hey, hey. hey. Right. I just might. God. I know. Yeah, I miss her miss too. Me bury some new friends. Her, she'd be you know, uncorrupted. Why, she'd be great. I just think she, nobody. She doesn't want to watch these guys yeah, fuck that's each other. She hasn't been on in a, in a while. <laughs> well, no. I, should, I, mean, I figured just chill, enjoy a Guinness, and then won't the ship be over soon? Omar, thank you. Like yeah, fight. but Leah wants to go play games, and we got to start corrupted. I mean, you know what are we gonna? We're gonna miss it though. I just realized. Yeah. Is that the only? Guess? Well, we can always we can still we can start yeah. it whenever the fuck we want. I, mean, I didn't know you nipples. were still gonna I'm cover not these. Even on camera. I mean, <laughs> she's pinching my nipples. Stop pinching my nipples. Aww. Titty twister. See, awesome. there you go. You guys are I mean, I'm gonna give you oh, a pussy it? twister. Oh my God. The Guinness is working, Joe. Really what? Yeah. What are you doing? Good old Guinness. What are you doing? What your you plan is working, bro. It's a Guinness. I'm going to break First your the fingers. Guinness <laughs> in the penis. <laughs> right? I'm going to break your fingers. I don't want to hey, burn you. What are you, you. doing to me? <laughs> oh! I'm going to break your thing. Caught him a bit there. He looks a little wobbly. Get in there. <laughs> I'm going to make a fucking drink I deserve when oh. I'm fucking... Oh, oh Woodley there. looks oh, fucking oh, wobbly oh, as shit. Oh, 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 oh my Woodley's God. Out. He's out no on way. his feet. Wow. No what a fag. I mean, what a fucking... Oh, my God. Tyrone Woodley. Oh, my God. Look at this. Just... Oh my God! What's he's going? Going? He's not even there. there. He's out. He's, the black guy's out. Yeah, he's swinging at Tyrone doesn't know wow. where he is. Just what is? It? Oh, flying oh. knee strike! Oh, 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 oh my God! Wow! Why work a submission? Just punch. What him. are you doing? Kick him in the head. He obviously, he oh. wants to show him that he's got him, dude. He wants to dominate his ass. Oh, now he's making him tap. If he taps, he can't yep. call racism. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He He's going to, to sleep. Wow, this is funny. Oh my god! Bye, wow, that was crazy. Oh, of course, he would get the whitest red. He's got that motherfucker. Oh, there up it in is. Step, 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 step. He said, "He said I can't breathe." <laughs> oh. 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 We're done. That's it. Good. Oh, this was that was line of the fucking month. Hey, make sure you guys sign up to Patreon for it. Hey, the Mexican said that. The Mexican said that. Holy shit. That was nuts. Oh, oh. just earned a fucking, <laughs> oh my God. A fucking one year contract. That was fantastic. On that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. That warms my oh heart. My God. <laughs> oh, my God. What is going on? I love Joe threw his fucking headphones off. He's just like, I'm done. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs>
<laughs> oh my god, dude, that was fantastic. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. dude, the Hispanic I'm guy so said that. that. Oh, you're watching this. Fuck. You may need another new pair of headphones after that. Oh my god, dude, oh, that god. just that cracked me up. I mean, because I didn't oh, know the story. God. I had Tyrone oh. winning. I'm fucking screwed. I just that's my first loss of the night. I had Tyrone. Fuck. Boy, you know, and, and Dana did not give in because the last match had the blackest ref I've ever seen. And then Tyrone, who's fucking screaming racism, gets the whitest ref I've ever seen. Right. I mean, I didn't know that it's he like, was. Dana's like, come on, call me racist again. Was he really saying that he, everybody's a racist, but then he's fighting in the league? I mean, I don't understand that. What the hell is he doing? Yeah, Nikki. Unbelievable. Shit bomb. I, lo I can't believe I lost. George Floyd is laughing somewhere oh, in the sky. Oh, my God. <laughs> Omar Fakharani. Thank you, sir. That's the Middle Eastern guy. See, the other minorities are the most racist. Like, I, like I'm not saying this is the my, this is the Hispanic and now the Middle Eastern guy. No, I'm just kidding. Omar is Omar. Aren't you half African? Aren't you? Ha, aren't you from Africa technically? Omar, you were like half and half, right? I don't know. Anyway, Jesus Christ, yeah. what the fuck, bro? That was a fucked up joke. I'm telling you. <laughs> now this guy isn't white though, right? He's br he's so from far. Brazil, right? Is Brazilian? <laughs> Crazy Horse says, I finally have revenge for my wife because the guy's name was Tyrone. <laughs> I, I actually kind of feel bad for Tyrone. He's just frustrated, you know. I like, I, I fucking, god damn it. I was perfect tonight, Tyrone. God damn it. I, dude, I told you I would not bet against a guy called Tyrone Woodley. And <laughs> he said and he's did. Egyptian. <laughs> or you didn't. But Omar's did. Egyptian. No, I know Omar's Egyptian, but I thought maybe he had a little bit of something and something else, too. A little something, something. Oh, I like I like Tyrone still, man. He's a badass. But uh, I can see Dana in the back tonight. He's like, make sure the fucker taps so he can't say anything. You're white African. What's, well, I'm from Chad. That was a pretty good one. That was a pretty good. That was a pretty. That fight went from. It was funny because Leah was like, oh, they're just fucking each other, and then all of a sudden it turned into like, oh, this is getting crazy, and then it got nuts for a second. Like that was wrong. wild. He was just down on his feet. He was like all wobbly and shit. Like time for a selfie. Oh, dude, Tyrone got rocked, and he needed a few more seconds. He would have. He might have recovered if he had another twenty seconds. But he was out on Dream Street. Uh, let me go to the other donos. I haven't played those yet. I'm sorry to the people waiting. We're gonna start uh, corrupted in a second here. I think. I mean, dude, I mean, do we do we want to finish this out? I mean, ah, I, I, I mean, like we'd be here did all you night. Just donate to Joe. Nice loving did fascist you just, donate just donated. To Joe? Thank you for the donation. Thank you. And because you either way, I'm gonna pee. Honestly, yeah, dude, usually I'm not for it, but like I know that, that I don't know. This has been better than the last four fucking times I've watched the UFC. Yeah, and this is a weird card yeah, tonight. Loving fascist. I mean, I'm down to stick it out. That's time fine. for U.S. history fact. In 1882, President Chester Arthur signed the into law the Chinese Exclusion Act. This law banned Chinese people from entering the country. This was the first and only law that banned an ethnic or national group from entering the U.S. Nice-loving fascist. Thank you for the history lesson, brother. 1882, President Chester Arthur signed into law Chinese Exclusion Act. Oh, that's interesting. Didn't know about that. I'll look it up. Uh, right. We got another one Cheers, here. Cheers, motherfuckers. <clears throat> Cheers, Jesse. Jesse's drinking now. It's going to be a really good Corrupted mm -hmm. tonight when we're all fucking sloshed. Corrupted is the uh, podcast. trying to be a good boy. Oh, Being well, a good boy, having to, good. I'm going to try and keep it at one scotch. Corrupted is the podcast that we'll be doing live in a few minutes from my Patreon only. So come on over. And the questions are up on Patreon. Guys, if you want to join, please join. You'll support yeah. the channel, and you'll get 30 or 20, about 20, 25 extra hours a month of bonus content you don't get on YouTube. Did you just donate to Joe? What up, Busy? Did you just donate to Joe? Man, we've been through oh, a lot tonight. Yeah. Thank you for the donation. And because you donated... Oops. Oh. Myself. What up, chat? In the bunghole. Hit that subscribe button too if you're wet and feeling <laughs> sexy. Shout out to Tyrone Brianna Woodley. Tipped three dollars. Just let the music play. We're hand in hand, chest to chest, and now we're face to face. I want to take you away. Let's escape into the music, DJ. Let it play. What the I fuck? just can't refuse it. Like the way you do this, keep on rocking to it. Please don't <laughs> stop the music. Rihanna, thanks, Rihanna, for the music. Um, I love you, Rihanna. Good to hear from you. I hope Chris Brown doesn't break your neck tomorrow. Um, thank you, uh, Rihanna. <laughs> Loving you guys. What up to Buttfucker in the chat? <laughs> <laughs> what 
with the questionable uh, right. symbol as his uh, icon. Um, Aww. As they say now, you know, I guess. I don't know. Who knows what anything is anymore? Oh, um, Nightbot symbol's questionable. Yeah, you know, it. it, it you're little right. White, ghosty, pumpkin-headed thing. Yeah, that is su that, sus. Yeah, it's a little white sus. White as fuck with black hey, eyes. What is that? that? Yeah. Look That's it. There it is. It's another man right in the temple. A hidden racist. Oh, four. Oh, oh my right God. Right in the temple. Yeah, Ooh, dude. He's just... Wow. Tyrone Woodley got fucked up, dude, right there. Look at that. Bam, bam. Boom, boom. Oh, knee. And then it's like, it could have been worse, too. Like, he, like, ended up submitting him. It could have been, like, he could have laid back and... He could have right. laid back and took his head off. I thought that, um... Right. I thought that dude was giving up. Like, I thought, can't you do that? Like, I th like I, how he was bowing I, out? I believe the Brazilian guy knew that the fight was over, so he went to the to the submission. I think he kind of took it... Right. Like, you know what I mean? I think he knew, I'll just submit him instead of fucking... You know, maybe. Well, kill. no, but I, I thought it. I thought when he, okay, when the dude was backing up, and then he went after him. I thought at that point he was doing an illegal move because I thought the dude like bowed out at that oh, point. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, I didn't. I, I don't, don't know, know the rules that well. Are you allowed to bow out if the dude, if there's no knockout, nothing? You just are like, fuck this. Yeah, yeah. You can me. quit if you quit if you say you're done. Like they'll. I don't yeah. think they've ever had anybody really. That, I thought that's I mean, what he was doing. No, so, because no, he let him back against that. Yeah, well, he, but like the thing you're talking about though. Uh, I don't think they've ever really had anybody like I give up, I forfeit, or anything like that. I think they, like yeah. that's what he wanted to do. Right, <laughs> that guy I was think, scared. It looked like. <laughs> I think if anything, people just covered up and then you know had the fight called or something. But yeah. Oh, okay, I got like, you. Like as far as long as I've watched, I've never bit. seen somebody be like, "No, I quit. Fuck this. I'm done." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you're well with what I've seen. You're right. Like they try and wear out the clock. Or something. Yeah. I want to thank uh, that, if somebody's not fighting or if they're running away or if mm -hmm. like they'll call it because they call it like um they call they have a word for it actually when like two fighters aren't fighting um and that motherfucker jumped over the people <laughs> yeah and just do that shit and he tries to run jump over the cage everybody right Leah was here earlier and she <laughs> tried Guinness man did you guys see the the oh, smile on Leah's face she had like a smile. It's the air in her. Should I stay gay? I'm surprised. I mean, I, yeah. I, I like the one they beer. Call it like, even beers I don't like, I could drink them. Really didn't. But it was a, yeah, I I'm surprised. Like, it, it, it but like but I mean, like, with the whiskey, she just kind of stared at it like, yeah, this is nothing. But with the Guinness, she actually got, like, a giddy smile on her face. Mm -hmm. So that's what, like, that told me that, oh, you like this more because, holy shit, you didn't smile like that after you drank whiskey. You kind of just like looked like you were trying to be like, oh, I'm a big girl. I drank that. Okay, cool. You know, but Dude, if she really likes it, maybe you can get like. Well, she took the whole bottle and went upstairs and said, "Okay, this is mine," and she left. Well, I was like the only one. Maybe 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 order for maybe here it is. Here like is this it right here? Is it main event? This is it. This is when she drinks it. And we're on the main event. Then we're going over to the corrupted podcast on Patreon. Hope you guys join us there. All right, there she is drinking it, and she thinks about it, and then she goes, ooh, look at that, whoa, like, look at that. Wow, and she does not, sh she does not smile often, like, e like seriously, so that's, like, a classic uh, hey, thing. I'm with you. So, yeah, I don't, I'm not a big, because, all right, we're going to find ooh, out. good. I kind of like it. Oh my oh, God! Whoa! Oh, wait a minute! Oh, you didn't wow. smile like that with the with the whiskey. With the whiskey, you were like, and you like looked at like, this is all right, dude. That was like instantly. Like, you, I think that was a crazy smile. Yeah, she got really like, happy. Yeah. Smile on her face. Yeah. Wow. That's it's great. almost like your all your alcoholic Good family your members gave you a back rub yeah, after you drank that. <laughs> but she's gonna be really disappointed when she finds oh, out. Realize, sorry. That's the I'm only like, that's the only bottle we have though. Uh, you can get more. <clears throat> Maybe not now, but yeah, you might be right. Well, that's what I was thinking. Like maybe if you order straight from like a, a good company or like a a big liquor store near you or whatever, like maybe you can get uh, I don't know. Maybe they send you a better batch, like one that's not been sitting in the store. Or like maybe you can give you like a nice fucking thing to drink out of, so it tastes even better. I don't right, know, it's glass. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. she she fucked up that pour, so you know it's. I, oh no, I can drink it now. It's gone. It's all good. Hmm. Yeah, uh, Nikki, I, I was gone when you mentioned it, but I saw a, a verbal standing submission once, and Justin even mentioned in the chat uh, that uh, Tito Ortiz did it once. But mm. the, when I saw it, it was 
at least 10 years ago. So maybe it was Tito, but I, I can't remember who it was, but I remember just dude's ribs got fucked up and he's like, I, well, I, I can't go. I'm done. I see why you don't want to do that very often, if at all, because it'll ruin your fucking reputation for more fights. But Oh, yeah, fuck, but I mean, if you go back and they confirm you have you. four broken ribs, I mean, then they go, okay, Yeah, they that's a whole other thing. Yeah. I'll yeah, give that's you a where broken the fucking, rib. That's what's funny about, like, wrestling or whatever. Then you got, like, Triple H who goes to a fucking match with his quads rolled up his goddamn leg, and it's like... No, oh, yeah. You know, it's I like mean, one dude doesn't... He doesn't make it with the... I mean... They're both devastating in their own way, but like you can't breathe with ribs, so I get it. Like you're you're not doing anything. I've been fortunate enough to never have broken ribs, but my dad's been through it several times. And mm. I mean, when he was younger, I deal with at least, it. And, yeah, I I literally yeah. like deal with it every day, but it's not broken ribs. It's just it feels like it. Like every breath. Oh, that's terrible. Just hurt. Yeah, it's it's just twenty four seven. That's why everything's so hard. Maybe you, maybe you need to go to a hard curdler. To breathe, it's hard to do anything. Sorry. You need to go to a curdler. Oh man, I'm a cur preacher. Cur preacher. What up, bud? Yeah, we usually do UFCs um, a lot of times. My channel is mostly covered in out. wrestling stuff, and I'm live all the time. And but tonight is oh, shit. tonight's corrupted podcast, which is like our we don't talk you really about either. UFC or wrestling, but um, we're just covering um, UFC, and then we're going to go over to Patreon only. So get on over to Patreon, guys, if you haven't yet. Speaking of which, links up. Are you what? looking at the chat? Gotta make a pre-show out of it. Am I looking at the chat? Oh. Oh yeah, yeah. I was because I was gonna fucking. This is the only place I, I need to mod that or wrench that other. Account. What are you talking about? Uh, oh, you know how, you know what I mean. Wrench my new account. I haven't done it on this channel. You have a new. It's probably account? the most important. Yeah, remember you. You'll see it in a second. Oh yeah, say something <laughs> in the chat. Oh you. Yo, say say something oh, in the you. chat. Let me tell you something. I smack your face. I don't want. Samson Small is going to eat Here you comes up. the walkouts. It it's come. going down, boys. Here we go. The main right, there you go, event. Show. It's the time. The heavyweight right. championship for the main Aye. event of UFC right. 260. Road Dog, I hope you're watching UFC from your hospital bed, brother. I hope you're watching, seriously. Aww. You know, you for someone who's up. been a little out of the loop, Nikki, what would you call the premier title in UFC right now? Cocksucker. When you say the premier, uh, like well, like you during mean the the title you like everybody wants, right? Like the 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 title everyone wants to see, like the one that's kind of got the uh, the most the uh, light heavyweight one. Is it probably, still light heavyweight? Yeah, probably that one and this one. I'm gonna say. Oh, I mean heavyweight, obviously. Shit, so Bob. light heavyweight. No, nope. Tyrone lost by choking eight forty six. Barry oh, Horowitz off. Hall of Fame for Barry Horowitz. That'd be sweet if there was there. Mr. Pico, <laughs> thanks for the $2. Oh, it doesn't really matter anymore. They just put any fucking idiot they want Who's to. Who's the top now. dono? Oh, JCS Foot Rub is the top dono. Let me hit him up up $10, there. $10, yeah. Um, now, the light heavyweight title, obviously, during the Chuck Liddell era and even a little bit after, it to me felt like the premier title. And then by the time Brock came in, as much as I hate to admit it, you know, the heavyweight became the focal point. But. Right. After that, I kind of lost track. That's kind of where I've gotten out of the, watching the, it as much and everything. The other titles, the other title that's pretty good, uh, the lightweight title, uh, the one forty-five to one fifty-five. Yeah, that's, see, and that, I, that, that's had a lot of bents. Uh, Frankie Edgar, Ben Henderson, you know, Anthony uh, Pettis, BJ Penn. I mean, I, I if, if it wasn't for Liddell, it probably would be the lightweight title. Right. Because with uh, BJ Penn and his fights with uh, what was it, GSP and mm -hmm. like you mentioned Frankie a little bit later yep. on, yeah, um, yeah. I mean, they were always stellar fights, but right. anymore, at least when I watched, and I think it was even kind of alluded to unintentionally earlier, right. it seems like the the lesser cards are the ones with the best fights, and it's kind of always been that way, with some exceptions. You always look forward to the Liddell fight, and it was always good. You always look forward to the lightweight title. Mm -hmm. That was good. But, you know, you see some of the non-title nights, and, you know, you get the main event, and it's maybe, you know, someone on their way up versus a former champion sort of a thing. And then the fight just kind of sucks. But the, right. the one four down on the card, you're like, that was fucking awesome. Right. Yep. Or what was yeah. it? The Ultimate Fighter finale won. Um, oh, my God, that fucking finish. Does Wait, do Darth, are you saying you he is? Like, does Our it do anything for you guys watching like the featherweight and the strawweight guys, like the little ninjas? Whoa! 
No, hold on. <laughs> hold on. I don't mean it like that. I just I know. Like, I'm kidding. These guys are like four and a half foot tall. Like they're muscular, but like they're like jumping all yeah. around. You know, shit like that. I call them little ninjas. But Dude, to me, I'd rather I... watch this guy fucking fight. Look at this guy. Like what the fuck? This guy grew up shoveling do? sand in Africa. Like, oh wow, whoa. there it is. Dude, no, why, he I did. mean, why did he? <laughs> oh, he did. Oh, I fact know, check. In his village, he that was their job. He grew up shoveling sand. That's why he saw. So oh, big. what a savage! And I can say that because he lived in a village. Yeah. In his primitive. I don't give, I don't give a fuck. Uh, I just said something that I think got Kumia kicked off Twitter, but I could say it because the context fit, <laughs> I think. <laughs> I mean, anyone who doesn't uh, remember Forrest Griffin and Stefan Bonner, that was... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, my yeah. God. I wonder if it's Machine right. Gun Kelly that's coming out, too. Oh. Yep. MGK! Point on, point on. He's ready to go Kevin fuck Owens his sister. Him. What? Kevin no. Owens powerbombed him to a fucking... <laughs> I don't know, fucking power drive, power fucking pile drive. Power fuck somebody. Power, power fuck. Power fuck. You just hate fuck somebody. That's power. what you need. I love doing that. Fucking <laughs> Nikki, what treat somebody like a fucking All right, drag. Hold on, Gargots. <laughs> <laughs> you just said power. I love doing that. Like, I what? fucking love doing fucking power fucking. Damn it! Just fucking yeah. doing tries and buys, bitch. Yeah, oh. John Jones, uh, Jerome. Yeah, I fucking forgot that name. Shouldn't. I'll never forget when he Just was talking trash to Daniel Cormier, and he's like, I did cocaine the night before I fought you. Nice. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I still your beat you. As a kite. Well, that's probably why he beat him. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what is with this guy's hair? He is I like, know. fuck my hair. I'm coming out to fight. He needs to yeah. shave it. Fuck me hair. I mean, there were there were nights Tommy was on where his hair looked neater than this. Oh my god! Well, he's always fixing it and shit. It's like he's in the nineteen fucking fifty. I mean, oh, this can't be it. like how he fucking goes out in the public, is it? Oh, look at even the, the, the trainer yeah. or the guy that's checking him, fucking trying to straighten his hair. He's like, I'm, I'm gonna check your hair, but I'm just doing it you to straighten it up a bit. In that hair, boy. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, you could yep. use a shave. I don't know. Was there actually a fighter that fought dirty? The top of the cage comes to his fucking tits. (laughs) Stipe's a tall motherfucker. But was there actually a fighter that fought dirty? Anybody, like, catch that anywhere? Oh, there's been a few throughout the day. Like, there's been guys that have punched other guys after the bell rang. Yeah, but I mean, like, weighted gloves and... Uh, I'd have to go back and look, but I don't think so in the UFC. Maybe in boxing. In boxing, though. it's a lot more easier. Yeah. Yep. They, yeah. They, they, the what now? Like, I'm sorry, I missed it. Like if like hiding razor blades like in your gloves or, or uh, oh, maybe yeah, I mean, or shit like that yeah. or a dirty shit. Man, two thirty four versus two sixty three. Holy shit! They're both six four. Jesus. Oh yeah. So they both have the leverage. Eighty three. You know. <laughs> but that might. It's like Christ. you never. That should make the one guy a little speedier. Hopefully. I don't know, man. I looking at the tail of that tape, man. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Steep. Well, the grip, they have equal height, which is nice because then they both have the leverage. So then it's all, you know. This guy's this stone not... cold look on his face. Oh boy. wow. He's, he looks he's like he's right man. Hill and Steep like... just like, yeah, I'm here. I'm the champ. The other guys just like, I'm going to kill you. Yeah, Herb McDean. Always, the, cha- Herb McDean. the chase is always better than the catch. Thank Herb you, man. Lenny. Like the fucking edibles are kicking in, man. <laughs> <laughs> when, when I used to hate Herb when he first came in, people mm-hmm. call him, you know, give him shit for letting the fight go on too long. Early on, he would call shit way too fucking oh. early. I started calling him Herb McDean because it was just, I, I, I had to come up with something that would make me feel better about being so mad at him, but. Over time, he's kind of became the new Big John McCarthy. You kind of respect what the fuck he's got, but nah, everyone's got their critics, John you know. McCarthy. He's a ref. He was now like he's a commentator and Bellator. He he was the ref that you know was very identifiable in the early days. When which I say early days, the, like when we were in the double digit UFCs. Which one was like the 
the Mexican guy or like, do you remember him? We used to, he used to look like one of my friends and we'd be watching oh. UFC and I'd be staring at him and staring at the guy. I don't know if he was Mexican, maybe he was like Asian oh, or something, but he just looked, you know, Mexicans look Asian sometimes. Uh, it's because of, it's the same fucking family tree sometimes. <laughs> like, what does that mean? Oh my God. What, what were you saying to me? Are you seriously saying this right now? <laughs> oh my God. It's all a conspiracy. I got the I got the poet I got the I got the me the twenty. We should we should actually get Alex Jones to call during the UFC fight. I think that would be actually kind of funny. <laughs> Have him do the commentary. Well, not yes. just that. Just to comment <laughs> on it with you guys. That motherfucker, he just got his ass kicked and fuck him. Yeah, let me let me get him on the. Hoist Gracie, big Merc. Get him shouting out Hoist Gracie. Up. Let's see if he's drunk. Kick me, kick me, Joe, kick me. Case and kill you. Please don't. Man, I, 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 <coughs> I'm going to tell you what. I'm going against Stipe. I think he's going down in the first round. I think Francis is going to take him out in the first round. That's what I got. I'm going to go with America. How's it going, boys? <laughs> Can't wait well, to watch jo this fight. Is it Alex Jones? Holy Alex shit. Alex Jones, what's going on? Can't believe I'm here. I, I mean, listen, I'm watching. I told Joe I might call, but the deal is here. I I, I can't believe what happened to Woodley earlier. All that crying, all that stuff he did, and he just got, he looked like <laughs> yep. a bitch. Like a flat out bitch. Well, did did yeah, you happen to hear our uh, our token Mexican, his comment on that? <laughs> yeah, well, actually, I'm down here in Austin. You're, you're probably not that far away from me. Oh, no, nah, dude. We're, we oh, can you fucking, hear that? I can fucking chuck some piss at you, you from where I'm at. Yeah, well, uh, see him at the next gun show or something. Security. security? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, we got, oh, we got tons of security outside. Oh, As we walk in the building, people yell and say, fuck you, die. And I just give them the finger. I got like 30 security guards. It well, cost me like half a million dollars. Die because you're white or because you're Alex Jones? A little bit about it. Because, because, I, because I'm finding out things they don't want me to find out about. Like it's a big deal around like Texas. I'm telling you, man, there's some kind of thing going on right now with toxoplasmosis in Nevada, in Nebraska, rather. I'm telling you. Oh. All right. Do All right, so, dude, I, I got to go against the, uh, I got to pick against the white guy, so I seem fair here. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. What's his what name? Uh, Mundanugu. White... What's his name? Nugu? <laughs> Nugu? <laughs> Nugu? What the? Oh. The guy, yeah. He said no go no what the fuck. I'm going with, I'm going with, 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 with it. I'm drinking in that boy. I'm going with it. Oh, welcome Google. to the call. Jacob RP. Holy shit. What up? Hey Jacob. We are like, oh, like, like, dude, if we get one more Mexican on here, someone's gonna have to show a green card. This yeah, is I had to wait with the inbred. <laughs> I had to go away with the inbred. No DNA Sus Papeles. Oh my god. This is crazy. Dude, you gotta feel yeah, bad for well. Woodley though. Woodley, that's his last fight too with the UFC. That's his wow. last fight. Was his contract up or you just? Yeah, like, like, gonna, that's his yeah, last. They're, they're I don't want to get dark fight. here, but I think he shotguns himself later in a hotel room. Oh, dude, no yeah. wonder his hair's long. So those gloves just slide right off it. <laughs> Fuck out. Wow. That's pretty conspiracy. smart. Hey, that's right. pretty smart. That's no, a good right. move. Conspiracy. I smell conspiracy, Alex. So uh, how do you pronounce the uh, Mindanugu's name again? Nagano. Nig what? Mishibishi. And, and what, what is the other guy? Though? I don't even know what the white guy's name is. Mik Misik? Michael Steve. <laughs> Miosik? Well, you know, we're making everybody sick. No, his hey. name ain't that. It's Ooh. like M-I-O-C-I-C. -I -C. What does that mean? Oh, he's oh, being mounted. Oh, he's working oh, it. He's working it. You got a block. You got a block. Oh, no. Come on. Oh, my God. He's his belt. Come on. Oh. Got a block. Fight for that belt. Fight for that belt. That's, that's why he's the champ. He knows how to get out of that. Is this guy getting freedom, yeah, too, if he wins? Wow. <laughs> oh. No, he's I mean, fighting for the slave. I heard DiBiase was going to relieve him of his duties. Well. Oh, Bullfrog left the Discord again. Damn. Oh. No, he's Bullfrog, fighting for the uh, rights you know of told me this. Oh, oh look John. at this shit. He thinks he's... Dude, that, you don't see that in the hood. That was a really big <laughs> kick right there. Oh my God. Big <laughs> kick right there, the cracker. I mean, the white guy. 
Oh, he might as well be a cracker because he don't he shoot somebody well, you if you're know, gonna do hey, it. Well, you shoot a basket. Well, I, this guy's kicking people. Me. You legs are meant for running, game, right? What? <laughs> Sorry. Wow. Well, this uh, Naganu dude, he's uh white from the ankles down. Look at that. Yeah, ashy. Oh, he's he's very sloppy. He's very sloppy. Ashy as fuck. Gotta love when him. He fights. Look at that shit. This Especially for a big it. guy, too. You know what I'd love to see? I'd love to see, like, right now, like, just, uh, oh. what's his name? Who's the Irish guy? I love him. Conor McGregor. I don't know, but he's, he has, oh, Yo, yeah, fuck him. He's... What if he did a run in, like, in WWE, but nobody knew what was happening? Oh. He just ran into the oh, octagon with a chair and blasted one of the guys. Or, the or, or like, a half-drunken, uh, out of his hair. he threw another dolly. No. If what if he was, came in with like a half drunken whiskey bottle? Out of his hair. You know? Wow. Look at him. Dude, I don't this who's I don't know who the white dude is, but like he's fucking uh completely fearless again. Like you could tell in his eyes. He's he is not scared of this well, dude. He's just well, waiting he's, to he's take on him crack out. Cocaine, crack cocaine, Jesse. Jesse. Like that's like, so he's so just ready. I don't care, but he is fucking ready to kill this dude. Deep in that don't matter. This dude's ready to fucking kill him for it. Look at him. Like the look. Herb and looks Frass like he's about to fall asleep. Herb Dean looks belt. like he's ready to, yeah, he's, Herb Dean uh, did some bath salts <laughs> before this thing started. <laughs> oh, I wish I had me a Modelo. Good. Uh, imagine Modella. laying in a bathtub like you're Herb Dean laying in a bathtub. Dude. On, on Dude, ginger oil. A little salt. Oof. Yeah, rubbing it all over your belly. I think the requirement in UFC is to be a referee, you have to be more built than the fighters in the ring. The octagon. Yeah. Dude, he's just uh, chilling like, as fuck. Like, or, you well, yeah, when you have to separate them, you got to be able to separate them. You yeah. Know? Well, I mean, you look at, like, Herb and Big John McCarthy. I mean, those motherfuckers could whoop half the people in the octagon's ass. No, they used to be fighters. Oh, I yeah. think um, God the man. Fighter. Well, Big John was, yeah, I know. I, I didn't know Herb was. No, Herb was a fighter, too, as well. Was he? Yeah, yeah Herb was he definitely sucked, a fighter. He, uh, he fought the war on drugs against his family and racked them all out. <laughs> No, I was wrong about the first couple. round. They got out yeah. of the first round. Goddamn, Earl Hebner will fuck your ass up. You, you don't have to be built. You just have to be kicking their ass. I don't know. Well, I mean, that's some uh, incredible shit there. Do you remember that shit? Where, like, little fucking Earl Hebner, you get in between these guys, like, I'll fucking... And he's, like, four <laughs> foot tall. Like, he was this big authority for a second. Like... <laughs> You guys don't even know about what goes on in the Muskogee Islands. Like, this is nothing. You think UFC is crazy? Are you trying to say that guy's name again? No, like, what I'm trying to tell you is, like, there's islands right now, like, where they basically, people wear weapons on their feet and claws and lasers and stuff, and rich people Absolutely. get to, like, basically, like, pay money to see what type of weapon they're going to use, and it's all underground stuff. Everybody oh. knows about it. Oh, so it's like a Hunger Games, basically. Oh. Yeah, basically, it's like on it's a like, secret like island. That shit goes down. Pay money. Month. Pay money for some hanging. Yeah, like that movie mean, the past. Are, they, they, we're living they in Hunger Games. We're, they, they, we're all they, trying to kill each other. <laughs> no, they abduct a couple well, people, and then they tell them, like, listen, if you win, we'll let you go. We'll wipe your memory, but you'll be back with your family. You won't even know anything happened. But if you lose, you're oh. dead. We'll throw you in the river. And so people fight to the death. Wow. Mm. Oh, yeah. It goes island. on all the time. And it's like barbaric stuff. You know, like, it's like Mortal Kombat type of stuff live. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, you know, if you throw a couple of homosexuals in there, it'll be a gay tality. It'll be fantastic. Well, they don't care, man. They'll, they'll abduct straight people. Gay. It don't matter what you are. They'll they'll throw you in the van, and <sighs> next thing you know, you're on an island fighting for your life, and you don't know where your kids are. Oh, all really you can terrible. smell is that black cloth they put over your face so you couldn't see anything. Yeah. Sweat. I mean, listen, if they play butthole games with you on the way there, too. Things happen, you know. It gets worse. Oh, you think they're in, yeah, you don't know if it's an alien invasion or just a rape. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, man. Oh, 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 shit. No way. Oh, no. What did I miss? What did I miss? No, 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 no. Oh, oh shit. Oh, no. 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 Oh,
Wow, that's unbelievable. That's amazing. Got what they lost? I can't believe Steve. I really did not Fucking see that Captain coming. America I thought America just wow. got knocked out by the Black Panther. What a shot, brother. <laughs> that was unbelievable. That was a hell of a that knockout. Dude, I can't believe Steepy just lost. <gasps> Steepy wasn't supposed to he lose. I really can't believe Steve what? lost either, dude. Ooh, that was yeah. unbelievable. He took well, his EBT card. Well, <laughs> I fucked, well, I don't know, dude. That caught me off guard because that dude he fucked the whole time. And I feel like the black dude just wanted to end it. Nangani like, was a free thing. man. Oh, man. Wow, man. That was amazing, that, that was knockout. Crazy. That might have been the best I've seen. I've was only seen, the like, a few. I, mean, no I got to tell you, that was wild. Buckle under. Well, yeah, 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 what it is. Yes. For the bell. Oh, my God, oh, yeah, dude. I mean, it was, it was too... He had him on the first one. The first one should have knocked anybody oh, out. Right, right. right. Nangano oh finally god. did it. Nangano went, finally did it. Damn, wow. look at this shit. Look at this shit. Oh my god. No. Boom. Oh my Nangana god. Nangano was supposed to do this two years ago. Nangano was supposed to do this two years ago. That motherfucker's going to have a Charlie horse for fucking four weeks in his leg <laughs> oh, dude, from that motherfucker. <laughs> dude, he snapped wow. that shit back so bad. Oh my god. Nangano doing what he's supposed to do. Credit to her. Oh, hey, I just, she was in there. He I just bought those perfect. masks. What the fuck? Damn, what bro. I mean, what a follower that, that guy. That was crazy. Still my idea. What a knockout, brother. I mean, Who's he got him twice. this fucking guy? Is this coach? Who is this <laughs> fucking guy? <laughs> <That's one laughs> <of the> <laughs> wow. Nangano finds Wow, he's it. holding his ass like crazy. Look yeah, at that. Give me that. He's trying to get his cock up in his face right there. <laughs> no, nah, man. Dude, I would finger him a little bit. That was oh, unbelievable. Guys, the guy is like 6'4. He should be doing this shit. Wow. I just I guess I've I've never seen this dude fucking fight, but like the look if you just the, went by no the way eyes and, six four. The problem is he's lost a lot. He's um, lost a lot. Who has? Oh, has Drew, he? Mangano. He was ba Mangano. dude. So, Gano was basically would saying you say he's he got like, lucky. He's or like, was dude, this just pure. He was he, just better. Nangano would he? Would Nangano weighs two sixty four? So. Would Nangano oh, yeah, just sold him? Did there. you see that? What he said is like, you're a tough son of a bitch because I had you like three times and you still didn't go down. That's what he was saying wow. right there. He was like, damn, wow. you're tough. Like I, I got you three times and you didn't go down. Man, I'm down with this dude. He's gonna hold that belt for a while. He fucking. Stuff. I've never seen. I mean, I've only watched a few of these, but they're usually pretty lackluster. Wow, that, they, that was a bad. This was a good out. UFC. Like, he fucking a he surprise show tonight. A surprise. A surprise pay per view. I thought this was gonna be kind of yeah. weird. Dude, the last three fight. I only saw the last three. They were phenomenal. Wait, they were better than got? the last four of them that I've seen. Four, he actually four had a. So he he fought Stipe back in 2018 in Boston, wow. Massachusetts, and lost wow. to a decision. A great fight. Wow. How much wow. money do you think you got today, then? Hey, we got to do this like this next champion. month, dude. I can't wait. I, fuck those free streams. This is. Nangano is the 17th, <laughs> the 17th undisputed <laughs> UFC heavyweight champion. That's amazing for him. On, bro. His, on his way <laughs> to getting this title match. He Ooh, defeated Kate a... Velasquez in 26 seconds oh, wow. and Junior Dos Santos what? in a minute 11. Holy shit, brother. KO and TKO punches so in both who's, cases. So who's the biggest uh, uh who's the biggest fighter he's come across? Uh, I think um, I mean take uh, your pick between Velasquez and Dos Santos. Oh, oh I think Velasquez he fought, I would he fought think, a but... black guy. He fought a black guy too. What's his name? Um uh I forgot Derek his name. Lewis? Fox. Derek Lewis too. Derek but he lost that fight. Wow. No, yeah, he did. He so, did. you know what I've noticed though? Like, see, I don't really know the divisions and shit. Like, I the the last few fights I've seen, they were not as big as these dudes. Like, is this a whole other heavyweight, well, heavyweight division or is no? It, it's just well, like, okay. So like, title so like, why did once? Well, wait, but how, so when like Mc, uh, one of these I saw was when McGregor got fucking taken down. McGregor's so is that heavyweight? heavyweight? No. No, he's not a heavyweight. See, this is like with boxing. Like in boxing, ninety percent of the people you know are heavyweights because they push yeah. it. So well, no, hard. I would but just think UFC, they'd end the night. I thought they'd McGregor end the night is on tiny, bro. He weighed like one fifty the last time he fought. Yeah, one fifty five. So, so they end these on whoever is star power or whoever's champion. Right? Uh, so star power or title? Generally, title because of how many titles they got now. But back in the day, yeah, okay. it was star power. Like the you might have. Champ Andrew, Drew, the whoa, champ, whoa, the shit. champ, baby. God damn, he are, so that right there. He stunned him. He stunned him with the Look last time they fought, and and then five hundred thousand went to Woo. the other dude. Wow, you bro. Know, that keep thirty pounds. pounds so I guess this time around it'd be like you know. Wow. Oh, oh, fuck! What a kick! Uh, this now, guy's pretty mind, well rounded. Oh, the three oh, losses oh. that Naganu has oh. is by decision. He has never been. So 
were knocked out. Oh my god, that knocked guy him on crazy. his ass. I'm not surprised. He, he is, dude. He took more hits than I thought. My god, this oh, guy's pretty tough. Oh, he knocked him out. Oh, oh that fucking leg! I, I didn't see it live. I, I didn't see it live. I can't even see that leg go back, dude. That sucks, dick. Yeah, I've actually done that, and that's balls. Fuck. Made him hit the stanky oh. leg. Damn. Hey, I mean, most like people even, in the hood run. This guy didn't run. You can tell. I mean, this is the, the these dudes here. are athletes. Like, I'm done that, and that's terrible for me. But, like, even for him, he's going to feel that shit I gotta tomorrow. Turn, I want to hear what he says. Not just his fucking. <laughs> but I can't. Oh, what's that? I can't play what he I want to hear what he says, but we can't because I can't hear it. But I'll hear it tomorrow. I, I tried, to, I tried to play it. Or, yeah, I tried to listen earlier. It was very low. I couldn't it's got to be low. Otherwise, we'd be get, you know, yeah, we can't yeah, we can't yeah, play it over right, the air. Yeah, that's that's why I've been trying to avoid the dead air and talk. I don't want. I don't want Joe. What the wait? I didn't know they. Oh yeah, they'll say yeah. The you fuck? can't do that. How, what? No, but like, how do they even know what to like for the interview? Yep. Oh yeah, they'll take no, it but for whatever. Really? Oh yeah, they, you never know, bro. Jesus yep, it's not Christ. worth it. They scan everything throughout the internet. They have an algorithm. Fuck. It's fucking. Have you ever seen Terminator? Have you ever seen my other account that's gone? No, or? I get, I get, dude. I, I got, I get it. <clears throat> I'm just, I didn't think it would matter for three minutes of an interview. Like, I don't even have my you know. set up. Why would you want your Unbelievable shit. Uh, wow. I didn't have a phone. Dude, that guy. All what right, so the 30 pounds that he had over the over the white dude, the, every fucking pound it was in the right spot to fucking overtake him. Like, the, when he was... It, that was just crazy, dude. I didn't Bam, think it would really matter, but... Bam suggests John Jones face this guy, but... Yeah, John Jones would have to go up weight class unless yeah. he's been fighting heavyweight. Wait, this guy would. This guy might ne hurt John wait, Jones at um, this point. I don't know which John one of you Jones, guys would know this. Oh, sorry. I was just going to ask: Did John Jones go up to heavyweight? And I'm, yeah, no, he's still fighting. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, I John think Jones he fought is, one um, heavyweight fight at one point, and I can't so find it now. John Jones is way too light. He's like twenty-five to thirty-five pounds good. too light. Is everyone good on watching? Oh. Yeah, you can take that off now. Yeah. 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 Wait. So, um, yeah, 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 I mean, you can, have, you can um, hang up on Skype there, Nikki. We don't need to see it anymore. I just have one like question because you guys know more than I do on this shit. Like, neither one of these guys are wrestlers at all, right? Like, they're just knockout and kick and like martial arts. Yeah. Yeah. Not oh, okay. a lot. Not a lot. I, of, like, I don't think there's a lot of wrestling for me either one of them. Oh, because I because what I was expecting, not knowing either one of these guys, I was expecting the guy who weighed less. So maybe be a little uh, better on being faster, well, and like maybe grappling. That a lot in you heavyweight. Know? I'm trying to think of heavyweight fighters that have been that way. Randy Couture was that way. I don't think I've seen um, a fight that had two dudes that were this big. Honestly, I've only seen maybe four. Oh, or five you didn't in see Brock Lesnar fight El Elster over? No, I've never <laughs> seen Brock Lesnar have a fight. I've never seen him have a fight. I've only wow. watched a, maybe I mean, five in my life. Brock, uh, They're usually other, little dudes. Other They're little when, dudes, and you know. Other yeah, than sorry. When Brock fought Couture. I mean, usually uh -huh. when Brock was up against someone, they were pretty equal. Well, Frank Mir was they that way to too. Frank Mir looked small compared to Brock, but you get Alistair in there over or yeah. not over in uh, Shane Carwin. Those guys, mm -hmm. uh, you know, they're pretty bulky. But and big Brock, themselves. Brock is the like he's over. He's like a good overall though. He's fast. He can grapple. He can knock knock you out. Like he can do it all, can he? Uh, Bam says John Jones is going to heavyweight though, so John Jones is bulking Ooh. up. So maybe, maybe that's what I heard, Bam. I knew that he'd been toying with it before. Nice. I swore he had a fight four or five years ago, or maybe he was trying to. That's interesting though. I know he'd been talking about it for a while. That interests me, especially, you know, since he's uh, he's still in his prime. I mean, he he came out young though. I mean, like he uh, he hit the ground running at an early age. Well, guys, we got to get out of here. We're going over to the Patreon. We're going to record Corrupted Podcast. So, guys, join us on Patreon right now. The show continues, but we're doing Corrupted. So. Yeah, man. Corrupted It'll Podcast fun. on Patreon right now. Download it on your we'll phone, suck Patreon. Your dick. Suck your dick off. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and uh, join it's us for that. We'll suck your dick for a buck. You can't beat it. Guardian of Chaos. Oh, sh there's plenty of us. I'll suck for you. There's I'll also uh, questions on Corrupted. If you guys haven't asked the question, get a question in now or I'm going to miss it Cop later. Sucker question. So uh, get it in there, and uh, I'll see you guys over there. What's up? Hit that like button, hit that sub button, and we'll see you for Corrupted. It won't be fuckers. too long because we gave you extra time here. So Oh. It'll be about an hour. Not, they won't come over. Yeah, every time you say that, we go twice as long. Well, look at what's happened. Well, I told all, you guys. We're supposed to be live on there at 11 o'clock. If 20 of you if 20 of you come over that haven't been on, we'll fucking go all night. How about that? That's a good point. 20 new people. We got come 303 patrons. 303 people. 
Get us a 320 let's do, let's patrons do and we'll go. Get us to 320 patrons, and we'll go for four hours on tonight's Corrupt. Let's what do you think? Oh, my yeah. God. Like, end yeah, of the well, month, getting 17 more patrons at the end of the month. You want to you go four hours? Later. You, you'll let's, go four hours, let's yeah. Let's get it. Damn. Let's do it. <laughs> we also got our uh, $25 producers on screen here, so thank you guys for going above and beyond at $25 or more, uh, and we'll see you on Patreon. I'm having another scotch. Fuck this. Yeah, pull it out. That fucker's better let's, fucking come over. Let's kill our livers. Let's six-pack fuck. of Guinness. No, listen. Yeah, I, no, you're you're right. Right. I'm, I'm sitting here. I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to drink a lot of coffee, stay up all night, and do research, and, and you know. Oh my God! I, exactly you still with us, sir? Or if Holy I just fucked up drunk, <laughs> shit face drunk, because I don't. Think it's Alex fucking Jones. Something really bad I think is coming. Well, Mr. Jones, I think... Listen to this. This is uh, where everybody goes, oh, somebody timestamped this as, oh, it's really funny. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm talking to a timestamped it. Dude, this is wicked <laughs> funny. They listen timestamped a lot of good ones. <laughs> listen to this. Listen, ready? Oh. The, the, ti the timestamp just says, oh. Oh. Wow. Oh. 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 Okay. You guys oh. act like this is some big secret. <laughs> That's the timestamp. I looked at the fucking <laughs> monetize. I looked at monetize this, and I'm like, okay, Chris timestamped fifty eight minutes and thirty seconds. Okay, let's oh no no no, you got to rewind about ten seconds. I know I I listened to that earlier. Oh. When I saw the timestamp. Oh, it's not quite on the money, huh? Oh really? Well, let me go listen. My dirt is probably yeah, from my it, dishwasher not doing an adequate job. Uh, Here's uh, shout out to Monica in the Terrible. chat. I didn't even see her. Um, no no, she was talking to me on uh, Messenger. Oh. 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 Don't, don't wash oh. your sex toys in the dishwasher, oh, okay. by the way. You guys oh. act like this is some big. <laughs> what a weird. What the fuck was yeah. that, dude? So, so he timestamped it right, but he timestamped it without the context of what you were hearing. Oh, my God. That's just fucking dude, bizarre. There's another. There's like two others or three others. There's the link to Patreon. We'll see you guys there. What the fuck? See you over there, motherfuckers. Remember what I said, you cunts? Jesus. No. Come over. There goes that stream.